Let's get the jazz hands going, oh, people. Come on, Trey. There we jazz go. Hands. Come on, DJ. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. There you go. Babyface doing jazz hands. Okay, Joe's doing jazz hands. There we go. We are live. We are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. Hey. This, this is episode 245 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. It's a little crazy, a little crazy right now. And uh, it might it might be crazy all night. So, you know, buckle in yourself with your big girl panties. Get strapped in. We're going to be talking about uh, the main focus of our show tonight is cool stuff from Brownells. So we've got several cool things from Brownells that are going to be coming on, including including Babyface P has some stuff he's going to talk to us about. I guess so. Yes. And on for people who don't know, Babyface P has a YouTube channel. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's. You know, actually, for the first time ever, somebody did a search, uh, Gabe, of all people, did a search for Babyface P on YouTube the other day. That was the first thing that came up. Nice. nice. That's right. That rap dude, he ain't got nothing on you, man. I'm taking over. Yes. <laughs> he might come looking for you, though. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, I'll point him to you. I'll tell him it's your fault. That 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 that's mommy. Oh, mommy. Yeah. Okay, we might have to mute Trey. Hold on a sec. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so... um. Yeah, so Babyface P has a YouTube channel. I, um, I I hope all you guys will go there and subscribe to the channel. It's Baby Dash Face P. Mm -hmm. Seriously, yeah. if you go to YouTube and search for Babyface P, I think I'm now the first person that comes up. It's pretty exciting. Well, that's pretty sweet. I, yeah. I have like 500 subscribers. It's crazy. Nice, oh, nice. For, okay. for ridiculous crap that I put out. <laughs> yes, hopefully we'll get you to a thousand, like our friend Richard Hughes, who just got to a thousand tonight. There so you congratulations go. to him. Shout out to Richard Hughes. He's about to become a YouTube um, dollar an air. Because <laughs> I know, I'm sure Richard thinks like a lot of folks out there, he's about to get his YouTube ball on. Yeah, well. Good luck. Yeah. Here, if you want some balls, I'll, I got some balls for you right here. I'll show you guys some balls. For right days. Here. These are the balls that you get right there. <laughs> the balls. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave my balls out. Because I might have to use these balls later, so you guys will see. So we have a whole ton of things going on. Babyface has a YouTube channel. I hope you oh, guys also, go subscribe. What's up? I also changed my logo or changed. I added my logo finally. So oh, it looks like it's too big. It doesn't work, does it? Um, no, I see. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, love it. You see the actual? Because right now for me, it's just showing the beard. Does it show the whole logo? Yeah, yeah. It shows the beard. Nice. Yeah, it's got a little curly thing. Yeah, you get the curly cue on the top. So yeah, I I finally. I finally got that set up and uh, added to my my YouTube channel. Who, who so. did that logo for you? I forget. Rashad did. Rashad, right. actually. That's right. Okay, Rashad. Yeah, he, shout he, out to him. He made it for me. All right. Shout out to Rashad for that logo. It's actually, I, I like it pretty well done. And the reason why I'm saying that, Babyface P has, he's got a bunch of videos. He's got some stuff with me in it. Um, and we're, we're going to be doing a joint video with Brownells. Babyface P has a 2245. Where is that thing? There you go. Boom. The magic gun right there and he just added some really cool things to it which we'll talk about tonight and uh brownell supplied those parts he's got the assembly video or the installation videos however you want to put it he's got a bunch of them on his channel you guys yeah, can check that more, out i got one more coming this evening once i get off this i'll upload it all right okay cool so i don't want to crap on my upload speed <laughs> okay nice we're gonna have that we've also got 13 c joe look at that handsome guy right there those big baby blues Flashing, he's good. <laughs> I'll try him with the folder. <laughs> yeah, the gun, the gun in the window is, is awesome. I love it. Man. Yeah, I thought about like where am I gonna put it? And no, that's boom. good. <laughs> yeah, that works. That works. Um, you're familiar with Brownells, right? I am. I am. I am familiar. I've talked to Roy a couple of times, but uh, okay. He, he he loves me in person, but I email him and never never oh, a word back. It's yeah, strange. yeah. Shout out to Roy from Brownells. That's like um like my favorite person at Brownells. Even though I love all the people at Brownells, and I actually have a really cool, funny video coming up from Brownells. It's almost a movie. It's almost a movie status, um, oh or at least like a half a movie or something like that, like a movie short. But uh, it's taken a really long time for me to edit it. But Roy is is actually uh, the first guy I met at Brownells. Really cool guy. He just hurt himself, actually. 
So um, he's out there recovering. I I don't know if he broke ribs or no. I think he he like fell really hard on his hip. But um, you know, shout out to Roy. Shout out to Josh from Brownells, um, as well as uh, who else? Ryan from Brownells. You know, Pete from Brownells. All the all the folks at Brownells that I know. Shout out to those guys. We're gonna talk about them um, at length here, and we're even gonna be doing a giveaway which I'm going to talk to you guys about in this whole video right here. So you, this might be the video you want to share. Now, we're not going to give it away now, but you're going to have to comment and share and like this video and do some other things. Uh, we may have some Brownell stuff, though, to give oh, away uh, during the show. And of course, oh, you're, we're lucky to have that because I almost snagged that the other night to do videos with. <laughs> I, I've only given saw, you these sweatbands like ten I, times. I saw it sitting in a box, and I was like, "Hmm, I could grab that." I, I have your wind sock or whatever the hell that thing is downstairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. What What is that actually? <laughs> Other than a, a so, full camera bag. Oh, that wind sock. Yeah, that's what a, is it? That's for? a gun sock. It's a gun sock. Oh, it's a gun sock. Okay. Yeah, you can put a pistol <laughs> in there. Okay, I wasn't sure what yeah. it was. I have to. I got to return it to you with the. Yeah, the, I use it to protect my camera. And, um, and you know, so that, that's what I use it for. So we're going to do that. We've got Trey. Check it out. Look, Trey rocking the Brownells hat. There he Always. goes. Rocking the very cool Brownells hat. Um, and which baby is this, Trey? This is Sarah. There's Sarah. What's up, Sarah? Hello. Sarah's Hello. having, she's having dinner right now. <laughs> she's having dinner. We saw DJ. Two baby faces on tonight. Yes, that's right. <laughs> this is this is the cuter one that we're locked in on. <laughs> this one, eh, eh, not so much. So much. Shaved baby still... face, unshaved baby face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, obviously, Trey is from Aries Firearms Training. That's where we kicked off the convoy across America. The very first stop, also where I got to uh, tear up one of those flamethrowers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. man. Baby Were face. We talking is about that, that today. Was yesterday. that today or yesterday? I can't remember. Yeah, baby. Yeah, uh, I think so, it might have been yesterday. So Trey, I got a new one, baby that. face. Hank shot it, the big one. Yes. Is it the, the, the full size? We see little the... ones that Gabe yeah, was so, talking about. I have one that's three times bigger than that now. Is it the? So I linked Hank the XL18 flamethrower. Is that the one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That thing. So they uh, throwflame.com has it on sale yeah. for twenty nine fifty, and I looked at it. It. it is napalm compatible? Yes. It, it, like, <laughs> it shoots everything. It shoots like 110 feet. It's yep. incredible. I want one yep. so bad. That's what Hank was shooting at the event. Yeah. Oh. If you look at the convoy, the first convoy video. I'm going to have to go watch it. Yeah. You'll see me with a flamethrower. It's in the thumbnail. That There it goes. It was pretty awesome. And, uh, of course, when you were telling me that you wanted that, I kind of threw it in your face because <laughs> that's, that's what friends do. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> yeah, by the way, I've already rocked one of those baby face. I don't know. You missed that one. You should have come out, man. Where were you? Uh, I forgot what you were up to that day. Yeah, I forgot what you were up to that day when we kicked it off. So, okay, so we're gonna talk about that a whole bunch of things here. I know that Joe's gonna have some stuff to talk about, right, Joe? Sure. There's always yeah. there's always something to talk about. Yes, there's always stuff. So, um, I want to remind people. I'm gonna go shout out everyone. I want to remind everyone out there to uh, hit the thumbs ups share this video, make comments. You can make comments here in the chat. Um, you might want to even come back on this video later, or if you're watching this video at a later time, because we are going to give away something on this very video. Okay. We're going to give away something really cool. Uh, Babyface and I are going to announce who wins it in a future video when we actually shoot that gun that you saw him with. That's how we're going to do it, Babyface. That's so, good. Yeah. I mean, there's, uh, you know, someone's always going to, gonna someone always complains to me that like I give away stuff on Instagram or on Facebook and they refuse to do that. So this is one of those things that we're doing specifically for YouTube. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this channel and this channel. So, yeah, um, go ahead. I've yet to even shoot this thing. So I feel like I need to come over on this weekend and come dump uh, like two, two boxes of ammo through it. With the okay. 10, a couple bricks. Or yeah. The, uh, 2245. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want to yeah. see that. That, uh, what is it, a Mark IV or a Mark III? Yeah, show it, up, uh, again. Throw it up again here. Let's yeah, see. This one, I this got one, one is... but that thing is – where'd you get the charging handle from? So, uh, well, all of it came from Brownells. <laughs> oh, dude, that uh, is awesome. What a coinky yeah. dink. <laughs> the I got the Mark III. 
Yeah, it's yeah. This is a Mark III. This isn't a Mark IV. Okay. The Mark IVs are so nice with the new button on the back. Yeah. You know, this is the old style that you have to take yep. down. That's the same one I got. I got the 45 also, but where'd you get that charge handle? Sweet. So this is uh, it's the Pack Light. Oh God, who's it made by? Um, the same guys that make the Pack Light uppers. Yeah. See, this oh, is God. why, baby face. This is why you keep the plastic containers. You remember when I had that conversation Pink with you? Boxes <laughs> everywhere. Tactical solutions. It's made by Tactical Solutions. Nice. <laughs> this um, is why. And... This is why I always say to you, keep the containers. So, by the way, if you if you do go on Instagram, I just threw up this uh, picture oh, on Instagram that. right here, and that's of that gun and the stuff from Brownells. So, if you guys nice. are on Instagram, go on there and comment on that. I just threw. I just did that like maybe half an hour ago. And um, somewhere here during the show, I'm going to give away some swag to someone yes. on Instagram if you go the, comment uh, right now. The bolt racker makes it so much easier than trying to pinch and grab. Like, it's yeah. so much uh, better. I think it's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. So listen, we're going to go down. We're trying to do this in a structured, organized way. I know we got a bunch of people. So structure and organization with gun dudes. Not yeah. Good you know, luck. Yeah, so here's what I want to do. Make sure you guys are actually subscribed to this channel, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Subscribe, and then you want to ring the bell as well, because if you don't ring that bell, you won't get notified of anything we do until two weeks from now. <laughs> do, do you want me to do my spiel as, you, as usual? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, uh, smash that like button, smash it. Everybody, yeah. uh, thumbs, yeah. up, thumbs up, everyone. Go subscribe, thumbbs up, smash the like smash button. Smash it, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to say ring the bell, so it's not you ring the bell, that's right. Yeah, because that song. What's that eighty song? You can ring my bell. Yeah, that's right. We need to play that in the background. Smash the smash the like button. Thumbs so up. what? So what's <laughs> happening is YouTube is actually you could be subscribed to someone. YouTube is not going to tell you about their video until two weeks later now. Yeah, and they've been doing that for a while. So it's that's why so you might ridiculous. notice you put up a video and YouTube doesn't like it doesn't get any views immediately. It gets the views later because they're waiting two weeks, which gives them time to delete the video. Oh, <laughs> is that the reason they're doing that? Yeah, that's not what they're saying. But, you know, so they, they claim that they want to they want to like make sure. Yeah, they want to make sure that, you know, these are valid videos or some kind of craziness like that. Or, so, oh, so yeah, invalid videos. I don't know, but so you want to do that kind of stuff. Um, you also want to be on HankStrange.tv because if you win anything here, you've got to be on HankStrange.tv. So that's really, really important part of it. Uh -huh. you know, I'm going to check out before we figure out who won this thing. I'm going to make sure you're on HankStrange.tv. But if you do win what we're giving, you know what? I'll just tease it right now so we can come, we can come back to it here in a minute. It's in this box. Check this out. Holy Oh, oh yeah. This is a gear bag for the range, and look that at that. Is... It's got Brownells on it. That is a freaking nice gear bag. <laughs> yeah. That is a pretty nice gear bag. We're actually going to review this tonight. We're going to take a look at it, review it. I'm going to do all of that. There's a link in the description to this bag. So that that is one of the things that's going down here. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Ring the bell or whatever nonsense is going on there. Like you're, I guess you have to ring the bell like you're, like you're, you're quitting uh, Navy SEAL school or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that, I'm, I'm right there, right? Man. Yeah. Is yeah, that what yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Like I think uh, if you, if you want to, if you can't hack it in Navy SEAL school, you ring the bell and then you take the walk of shame. Is that what happens? Yes. I don't know. That is what happens. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I would have never gotten to the Navy school, Navy SEAL school thing in the first place. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, do that. Make sure you're on HankStrange.tv. Watch this video, comment. We're going to do all those kind of things. We're going to get into it here. Um, let me go through real quick and shout out everyone. Special K, DCG44 is Richard Hughes. Congratulations, Richard Hughes, hitting a thousand subscribers. Uh, Ridge Runner, DCG44 is the Archangel as well. Uh, Christopher Williams. Uh, let's see who else we got. We've got Ghetto, 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 <laughs> Ghetto, Ghetto. Yeah, um, I edit ghetto my. Ghetto gamer is he now just like really ghetto? I think um, I think he's just been changing his name. I think that is Ghetto Hood <laughs> Gamer. But... He's extra ghetto now. Yeah, yeah. So um, he's like you know figuring it out. You know, fluid. <laughs> what is it? He's identity fluid right now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I edit my sub M O A A K. Says assume the fetal position. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
let's see who else we've got in here. Kiaski, Jay Brennan, Larry Fulton, uh, Corey Williams is in here, Michael Pro, Gary Frazier, Screaming Skull Saloon, STL Storm Spotter, Lewis1911. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Beverly Delk, Mubut. Mubut is in here. Uh, we've got Jason Wall, Rob Avis, Sergeant Poppy. Um, let's see who else do we have? Red Bear, Scamp 900, and let's see. I'm skipping KS Harris, Mr. F and H. Um, let's see. Gorillas and Guns, James Lawson, Glock Boy, OX69, John Gillian. Um, I think that's it. If I miss, I probably miss a bunch Care of people. Bear there. on the Holiday Road. You can't miss that. Oh, say it oh. again. Say it again. Say it again. Care Bear on the Holiday Road. Yeah. <laughs> now I've got Holiday Road songs. Yeah. Stuck in my head. <laughs> Big Dick Willie is in here. He says, join the GOA. There we go. That's from Big Dick Willie. And when you join the GOA, make sure you put a nice little note in there when you sign up. That says Big Dick Willie told me <laughs> Big Dick Willie. <laughs> to join you guys. <laughs> um, there you go. Okay, so shout out to everyone. We'll we'll give more we'll give more shout outs. Uh, Care Bear on the Holiday Road says yep yep. So there you go. Randy Peacock also in here. So we'll give more. Joe, I'm gonna start with you. What's going on, man? Um. Well, the big news uh, video just dropped the other day um, on the Geisley SSP trigger, and the awesome folks at Geisley are giving away a SSP trigger to uh, to somebody who subscribes to 13 City. I, oh, if I haven't subscribed yet, I'm going to go do that right yeah. now. <laughs> so this is so is Babyface is Babyface eligible? Uh sure. <laughs> so, what, 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 so what I'm going to do is, um, and if you watch the video, you know, I mean, entering is pretty simple. Uh, go check out the video. But if not, uh, the, the the main key is going to be to be signed up for the 13C newsletter. Um, so you do that. And we're just going to take a random number generator and, you know, put in whatever our total number of subscribers is. You know, on uh, we have 59 more days to enter or to be subscribed to the newsletter, I guess, more specifically. We'll put in however many that number is, hit the random number generator, and whosoever number comes up gets a trigger. Oh, sweet. Okay, do you have um, the, so the gun that you put it in in your video, is that here? Uh, yeah, actually it is. It's okay, right let's here. see that. Uh, by the way, Trey, your microphone or something is really loud or you're rubbing on it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there it goes. You can. I can see the G from here. Okay. So explain the uh, this Geisley trigger to the folks out there who are not aware. So this is uh, the SSP stands for single stage precision. It's a three and a half pound single stage trigger. I would liken it to one of Geisley's two stage triggers, except for there's no first stage. Um, it is it is fantastic. Here I'll I'll hold it up here for you so that you can so that you can. All right, so watch. I'll I'll be quiet. Oh yeah, yeah. On we'll safe. We'll <laughs> nice. So it just it just breaks. Just it yeah. just breaks. Yeah, it's and then check out check out the reset here. Nice. Oh, that, that's that's it. pretty oh, awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. Boom! It's right there. It is. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's crisp. I I mean I'm a big fan of some of the other Geisley triggers. Uh, I think this is really their first true single stage trigger, and I'm really happy with it. Um, so anyway, you won't be getting this trigger, but you will be getting a brand new one uh, from Geisley. If okay. You All right, cool. And what do they need to do in order to win that? So I'm, I'm hearing myself repeating on someone's someone's thing. Someone's got to turn I, down. Someone's got to turn down their volume. Maybe it's Trey. Yeah, maybe it's Trey. So no, not um, Trey. So, okay. so to win, okay. um, you've got to be signed up for the 13C newsletter. That's how we're going to pick the name. Then we'll announce over the newsletter who the winner is. And then you'll have 72 hours to claim it. If you don't, boom, we're going to we'll, we'll run the random number generator again and hit it up. And then uh, the, only, the other two things are to subscribe to uh, uh, our uh, channel and Geisley's channel, either on YouTube or Full30. Um, and then that's it. Uh, the entry point is pretty easy through the email. Like, like you were talking about earlier, I've had people comment when we do Facebook or Instagram or, you know, people follow us on so many different channels. They don't have one, they have the other. So that's why we're doing this one straight through the, uh, 
straight through the newsletter as opposed to anything else because everybody's got email. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, very cool. What is the value of that again? It's like uh, two hundred and forty nine dollars. Okay, Whoa. very nice, very nice. And you can and you can you can choose when you win it if you want the curved bow like that one or the flat bow. Flat. If I okay. had it to do over again, I probably would have gotten a flat bow on this one instead of the curve. I've but, never um, I've never shot a flat bow, but I keep hearing people say that they like them better. They're yeah, like there are a ton of there are a ton of different flat bows out there. Um, so I would. There's a little bit of variance between manufacturers. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say um, try some different ones. I really like the Geisley flat bow. Um, there's a couple other manufacturers who have good flat bows. I tried one from, oh God, I can't remember the name now. And it was a little, I, I, I think it was just a trigger overall was a little, little gritty. So maybe that was part of it, but. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good uh, competition trigger. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, it runs like a scalded dog. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me see. Uh, Richard Hughes gave us two bucks. He wants us to shout out RTS guy who was at Okeechobee. So shout out to RTS guy from Richard Hughes and the rest of us. Um, and then before I go away from Joe, so am, am I correct, Joe? Um, no love for too I many mean, triggers. Yeah. Sorry, so, RTS. I've had a lot um, of problems with him. Which ones? Timony? Timony? Yeah, I've never used a Timony. Yeah. Oh. We had a one of my friends put a Timney in his car, brought it out to the range, mm -hmm. I put the mag in, and it went off full auto, right down range. Not, <laughs> nobody had a finger on trigger or anything. Ooh, did wow. it again. Same gun. Took the Timney out, put a Geisley in it, never had the problem since. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Okay. Um, let me see. Joe, are you putting up a link here for me to uh, uh, share? Uh, yeah, I did. I put it in the uh, group chat. And... Yeah, let me share that. Let me share yeah, that with everyone I mean, here. It's also the latest video. You can go and find it on our channel. You can just click on, you know, when this is over, you can click over to the latest video and um, it'll it'll be in there as well. Right. And so also I'm going to, here, let me put, um, so I'm just going to call this 13C Gun Review. Yeah, that, um, that Timney trigger, that's not a bug. That's a feature. That's what us developers call features. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. yeah. A, feature, a feature that puts you in jail. That's a bump fire trigger, right? Bump fire That's trigger. right. Yeah. A, feature, a feature that will make the ATF come and lock you up. Yeah. Real quick. So not exactly. So, Joe, did you uh, change cameras? Um, I know this is totally like... Your... Does it look better? No, no, no. I'm talking about your camera that you use for making videos. I thought Lola told me that you uh, got a new camera. I I, I, I do, actually. Oh, look at that. And, and what camera is that? This is the Canon M50. Oh. It looks gigantic with this mic on here, but... Check it out. Here's a smaller version. Great minds think alike, Joe. Is that... Yeah, this is the M50. That's the M50. Very lightly. <laughs> Did you yeah. get yours from Costco? Yeah. Uh, no, but... Boom. I got these from Best Buy. They were on sale. Hank, Hank rolls okay. deep with double cameras. Yeah, you got to have, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've still these got are my good cameras. Stock. Very lightweight, by the way. Very light. Oh, yeah. These things are ridiculously lightweight. Yeah. And you can change the lenses and do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Is that the one where you can flip the rear? Yeah. I, yeah, I actually. Yeah. You, you know what's funny? Is I actually. The camera that I borrowed from you, mm -hmm. when I realized that it didn't have that feature, I was like, damn it. This makes it so much more difficult. Because that yeah, one, it only just like swivels a little bit. Yeah. I try to tell you, Babyface, the one that just flips down like that. That's, so much better. Yeah, that's – well, the one that just flips down is for my vlogging. These mm -hmm. that flips out is when I when I need to point cameras at me, like when I'm making videos on my own. I like those better. Stuff like that. Yeah. 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 They're very good cameras. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of them, and they're, there's some good prices on them, right, Joe? Yeah. Um, I want to say that was six – I, I just got mine at Costco to try because Costco has a 90-day return policy. Um, okay, but makes Costco sense. Six ninety nine, and I think it's six ninety nine about everywhere. Yeah, and the, and and the uh, retail on these is is nine ninety nine. Just to just to let you. Guys yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so so do you like it? Have you have you used it a decent amount yet? Or yes, I use these on my trip. Okay. So I got them for the trip, but I've used them in a bunch of videos that you've seen before the trip, during the trip. 
cool. after the trip. I just use it for a whole bunch of different things. Uh, we used this when we recently did the video with uh, Sam Andrews. So if you see that interview of me and Sam Andrews talking and the camera switching, it's these two cameras. So yeah. use it all the time. I think it's a pretty good camera. I like Canon. Um, I like the skin tones for people with Canon. So yeah, I, I do too. Yeah, it's um, not as good in in when it comes to cars and things like that with the skin tone. Uh, um, excuse me, with the color, but I think it works good for 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 faces and stuff like that. So if, I kind of like default if you to that. Can get in here and really tweak your uh, white balance settings. You can get even even crisper better than just going with its automatic color tones. You can really trick the, the you know any of the cannons out any any of them since the T4i like the. ADD yeah. and stuff like that. You can really do a great job on it. Yeah, I always shoot flat babyface. Uh, I'm trying to get him to to get up on shooting flat video because then you yeah, can you edit it and pull up all color. My time color grading it. <laughs> you know the guys that make the most money are the ones that can pump out videos in like ten minutes. Just throw it up there, not have to spend uh, two hours editing. Mm -hmm. Just you, see, you gotta have skills. If you know what you're doing, it won't skills. take that long. Yeah, it's called wasting time. Yeah, it's called skills. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's how you put that's how you can mess around with the color and get what you want. Also, with Canon, you can do something called Magic Lantern. I know we're getting deep into the camera thing here, um, which I should probably do in, in another show, do a whole thing about what we use. But there's this thing called Magic Lantern, and then you can hack your, your camera and do a whole bunch of cool stuff. So um, that's why I'm kind of like going in the Canon direction over a bunch of other things right now. Okay. Right. So one, Go ahead. one last thing while we're on it, because I know you want to bounce off of it, I can tell. Uh, have you done any 4K work, and what are your thoughts right now on 4K versus just full HD? Um, I haven't done 4K. I know I, I looked into the 4 k ness of it. I know that if you move it around when you're doing 4K stuff, it's not going to be that great, and it's not true 4K. So it's, um, you know, it's it, not it, really it's, true uh, 4K. 4K? Uh, the, the the images crop down more. Yeah. But if you're all that really means for our purposes is we just got to back the camera up a little more. Yeah. So so to me that doesn't really you know the cropped feature of it doesn't really bother me so much. For yeah. And I'm, I think that probably um, probably Magic Lantern will have some kind of hack for that and make it better. Uh, what happens with Sony and and Canon and all these other companies is they deliberately hob hobble these things. Yep. So they can do better, but they don't, and they pull back features so that they can make money selling you more expensive things. Um, the problem with that is, you know, I mean, when, when phone cameras are getting better and better, I think they're making a really bad business um, business decision I have my camera to, too. to not make these better. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You know, the cameras are getting better and better. I was looking at the, um, the Apple's latest presentation, and that camera... You know, the new cameras and things that amazing. it can do is amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, even my camera, I was taking pictures flying at like uh, 12,000 feet, zooming in and taking pictures. And people are like, what would you take a picture with my iPhone? I mean, then yeah, I think they're going to overrun uh, hand cameras eventually. Yeah. So, I, you know, Canon, even when I go to uh, the broadcasting show and things like that, and I try to talk to these companies, they don't really give a crap. This is their plan. <laughs> of how they're going to make more money. So if you want entry level, you can go with things like this. They hobble it a little bit, pull back the features. If you spend more money, you get better things. So um, uh, we, we can definitely come back to it. I don't mind talking about it. I know people are here to see us talk about gun stuff or whatever. We typically talk about whatever the hell we want to. Like Pretty tomorrow, much. we're gonna, tomorrow we're doing movie Friday. <laughs> I was going to, I was actually going to watch that movie tonight, uh, but uh, you invited me on the podcast instead. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get it. Wait, yeah, which, watch it. which movie? Heat. So, so we're all oh, gonna watch oh, Heat. Who hasn't seen Heat yet? Wait, Babyface, have you not seen? Uh, oh, it? the guy last night, son, didn't see Heat. He's never seen <laughs> it. Never. I've never seen it either. Oh my god. I was. <laughs> I don't want to make you, you guys want to go watch it right now. If you've never seen it, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to make you guys feel terrible, but I was like six when it came out. So. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go watch it tonight, probably. You we, we have to discuss it tomorrow night. Yes. So we're gonna do tomorrow's movie night. Everyone voted, I think, on Monday, right, Patrick? Yep. <clears throat> so we're watching Heat. This is the first time we're gonna do it. Everyone's going to get in. We're going to talk about it. Uh, Joe, if you want to jump in and out, I know tomorrow 
you're probably doing your live uh, Instagram thing at some point. Yeah, at uh, 9 Eastern, 8 Central. So it normally starts, well, if you end on time, it starts exactly when you end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you got to remind you should like I always forget until I'm going home like oh crap So if you can if you remember send me a, a reminder or something that we'll talk about so tomorrow is gonna be all about the movie heat which is a awesome gun movie probably Like like top 10 gun movies out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah So Yeah, we're gonna get all deep up in there and talk about that. Let's um, let's try to compartmentalize everything now. So, because we're doing a giveaway, let's should we do the bag thing first? You guys want to do that? Talk about yeah, the bag. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If if there's new stuff, I know that um, I know that Hurricane Florence is like coming down North Carolina already, right? Is that uh, what's yeah, going it was on? Was like, I think it was. Yeah, I was looking at the news about that. <laughs> I know we've got that and some other news things going. Yeah, it looks like it's. Uh, I think it no, looks like it's already car battering car. the East Coast. Sorry, baby, baby, your gunman card got pulled enough. <laughs> <Why? laughs> Why is My that? Because I've never seen heat. and he's seen heat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna watch it tonight so we can talk about it tomorrow. I yeah. figured Walter. So Hank asked if I had any of the guns from the movie, and I'm I'm betting I won't. Uh, but I have a feeling Walter will have like multiple guns that were in that movie. Well, I think one of the things that makes it a really good gun movie is that it doesn't have crazy guns in it. So it's got very practical guns for what's going mm -hmm. on. Basically, it's a cop versus robbers movie. Yeah. Um, just done by Michael Mann, who's, I think, one of the best action directors in ever. So, um, <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. He's, a, he, I mean, you know, have you seen, have you ever seen the movie Collateral? Fantastic movie. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, that has uh, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That scene where he's like, they, he gets robbed for the briefcase in the alley. Yeah. Oh. Michael, Mann, Michael Mann has done a lot of like real hardcore action films that are very yeah, realistic. Yeah, he has. I'm trying to think of another one he's done. Uh, yeah, we can put... Go ahead. Now, this is all stuff for tomorrow. Now, he's so. done a bunch of movies, too. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, Michael. Yeah, Mann. so we'll, we'll talk about all of that tomorrow. See, this is why tomorrow's going to be probably... A, like top 10 fun shows on the who move my freedom podcast you guys need to join us tomorrow <laughs> for sure so here we go the brownell signature series shooting bag that's what this is okay it uh, retails it's on the site lola put a link in there um it retails for 129 i believe um and here, here i'm just going to read this real real quick we've incorporated many of the same great features of our original signature series range bag in a slightly smaller, more compact bag with bellows, pockets, adjustable dividers, etc. So you guys can read up about it. We're gonna flip. I'm gonna go through it right now. Um, can first of all, can I just say real quick? Yeah. I am a total sucker for waxed canvas. Anybody that throws oh, out a yeah. bag that's that like waxed cotton yes. canvas, oh, I'm a total sucker for that stuff. It looks yes. Awesome. Oh, is that what? Is that, <laughs> it's like cotton, oh, yeah. cotton canvas. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm all about that. It beads. It beads. And it's yeah, you can you, you can't, leave it on the can't destroy it. those bags like that. Nope. Yeah. So do you guys do you guys use shooting bags? I do. I have a I have a backpack. Uh, my truck bag. is my shooting bag. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go to Joe since he actually uses shooting bags. You do, Joe? I do. Yeah. Okay. Do you have requirements for your shooting bags before I go into this? I need um the biggest thing is number one, it's got to be sturdy. So I've had some bags in the past, like a long, I don't know, many years ago, back when I was, I don't know, a while ago, I had a like a Cabela's bat shooting bag, mm -hmm. and that it wasn't a bad bag, but it's meant for somebody who goes to the range, you know, once or twice a year, to carry, you know, two boxes of ammo with it. I mean, it's big enough to put a bunch of stuff, but it's not sturdy. It's not meant for the weight. Because yeah. you're, you're putting, you're putting like, like you tools. And I put it back. And, yeah, you're putting tools and ammo and stuff like that in there. You're beating it up. You might use it as a as a rest. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. Number one, number one purpose for a shooting bag is oh, rest. Go. Gun rest. <laughs> you ready? So there you go. Yeah. So yeah. So that's number one. Uh, it's got to be sturdy. Um, and then I like something that's big enough um uh that, that that gives me uh i like something that's big enough that gives me enough room inside that's like, what I she said that's what she said yeah, this <laughs> one <or two laughs> other, uh, did you did, did you hear what i said joe 
No. <laughs> oh, you you were saying that you need something. Go ahead, say what you were saying again about big. You need something big. <laughs> All right, you guys. When it comes to shooting bags, I need a shooting bag that's big enough <laughs> to fit. You know, that's what she said. Know, that's what she said. Okay, I know that. You know, a DSLR in. Um, you know, plus some box of ammo, mags, um, and some sort of organization to keep them separate. You know, stuff yeah. like that. A utility pouch or something, preferably at least one of the pockets on it needs to be a uh, like a watertight slash protected pocket so that if I throw gun lubes in there or stuff like that and it breaks or leaks out, it's only going to contaminate what's in that one pouch. Uh, yeah. That's a big thing for me. Yeah. Okay. So with that in mind, we're going to go through this. It does seem like it's uh, pretty tough on the outside. Got like an open pocket right there. Then it, I can see it has another pocket here. I, let's take, let's I've been carrying it. my hair protection of mine and my laser range finder stuff. I don't put guns in them anymore or ammo because I got yeah. too many, too much ammo, too many guns. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. There's some loops in there. I guess you could put pens and things like that. Yeah, right that's pretty here. sweet. There's another yeah, that, pocket. That thing is pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, there's another pocket right there, so that's pretty good. It's got leather right here for carrying it, which is nice and soft. It does that's have shoulder. The, yeah. yeah, it does have the uh, brown nails right nice. in there. It's got the brown nails in leather. Um, this is Velcro. It opens up. So the big, uh, so that's one compartment on the outside. There's another one here on the outside as well. I'm going to open that up. So that's just like a big pocket in there. And uh, we'll do the balls test, of course. You're gonna, you're gonna drop your balls in there? Yeah, we're gonna put. <laughs> we'll see how many of my balls can fit in there. But that's a big, like a big wide <laughs> open, uh, open pocket there. And then so here's the main, the main one. And this has poles. These poles are like the backing leather. I don't know what this stuff. What's this called? Like uh, suede. Yeah, suede. like a suede backing kind of thing to open it. So there's your big, your big. Oh, that's pretty nice. And it's got a shoulder strap. That is pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah, and that also has leather on it. I won't go too deep into that so we don't mess it up for the person who's actually... Because we're going to give this to someone. So then it's got these dividers. So you can uh, divide up the bag. Here, I'll set it up. I'll open up some dividers in here so you guys can see that. So you can uh, divide up your bag like that. Into Man, that is pretty if you want sweet, to. actually. You know, I think Joe is right. You could use this as a, a camera bag as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joe. That thing's pretty solid. solid. The, the uh, floor of this is pretty solid, too. It's got like a, uh, what is this? Looks like there's some kind of plastic thing that, that goes in there and fits on the floor, but you can move it out. <laughs> so there you go. That's uh, that's pretty cool. You know what? Um I'm going to go through it and see what else we got going on here. I like how it's got these these things stitched in all around all the way around it. So maybe that goes to to help keep it all together like Joe was saying so this doesn't easily uh, fall apart on you. So um, you know what? Time to pull out the balls. <laughs> well, while you do that, I will show off yes. my longest running uh, uh, rifle bag. You guys ready yes. for this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock it on you. I'm gonna lock it up so you guys can see. You ready? This is this is my my longest running. <laughs> <laughs> it came from it's a, a pair classic. Of it's a classic. Uh, yeah, is it, that the, what that designer is? Le Black and Decor. Yeah, it's a, it's a very it's a very high end <laughs> rifle bag. Very collectible. <laughs> um, but it, seriously, the thing has worked for like I've had that for probably six or seven years, and it's worked perfectly. I just like laying them on top of each other in the back of my truck. <laughs> yeah. So you guys go ahead and talk real quick. I'm going to fill this yeah, up with gonna, balls. He's going to stick his balls in, in the yeah. bag. <laughs> like how many balls? Actually yeah, what, is that pistol? What, is that, what is that piece on the window? What is it? Joe. Can you hear us? What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah Sorry. What is it in the window? I, what is I, it? I, tur I, turn, I turn the volume down a little bit. My bad. I'm used to it. Yeah. yeah. What is that what you got there? What is the gun on the window? Let me lock I it. I gotta see it. Is it a twenty-two or? Oh no, it's not. It's oh yeah. Yeah, here we go. This this is uh, nice. My Cleal Ace in five five six. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, that rail looks really good on there. It makes yeah, that's, it that does. That rail looks sexy as shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the RS Regulate rail. Um, yeah, this is this gives this thing a whole. Is that new a look. Hollis sun on top? I can't What's tell that? you're yeah. 
Yeah, it's nice. a Hobson five ten C. Yeah, I run the four o four o three and the five ten. They're all really nice. I like Hollison stuff. Yeah, I do too. I do too. There's actually that a whole is on that sweet, as well. Actually, is that a TLR one on the front? I can't see. You're moving around. No, this is a uh, oh. light. Oh, oh. nice. You oh, like it? Uh, I do. I do. It's a 1200 lumen uh, freaking light. Two, three, it's crazy, uh, crazy bright. Great throw and reach. Um, I, I couldn't be happier with it. I've, I've actually got two of them. I've also got one in flat dark earth. That actually oh, nice. To be Very cool. Off, What's the price else. point on those? I think regular prices or list price, I think it's like $89, something like that. 90 bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. One, they, one, two, threes? Yeah, CR one two CR one two threes, um, and they run flash sales from time to time. I post them up on my page when they happen. Nice, um, and they it, I've seen them as much as forty percent off uh, for like holidays. Oh, that's those are pretty reasonable. You can actually afford those lights. Yeah, yeah, and they I mean they 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 do pretty well. From I mean I haven't tried to destroy it, but they yeah they last they they do pretty well. I'm pretty happy. I with like them. the P ninety behind you too. Very sexy or the PS ninety. <laughs> Here, we'll have you, you seen the O-lights? Oh, there you oh, go. What is that? What's that on the left? Is that just a Glock or is that actually uh, something else? Uh, that? that is a Glock 17 with the uh, rough texture oh, nice. finish. Nice. Nice. Tactical walls, right? Yes. Yeah, they make a really good products. They do. Man, that is a sweet. So it's a pistol. That's a sweet pistol. Yes. Yeah, yes, it's pretty yes, sweet, yes, actually. That is really sexy. That's, that, to me, is something I could like throw in my trunk and... Throw a bunch of mags in with it, and if you ever need it, it's there. Oh, yeah. tiny. The thing is a beast. I mean, it <sighs> it, it it just runs. Um, the modifications you've done to that make it look pretty badass too. Yeah, and it runs fantastic suppressed. I mean, it is just it is a dream to shoot suppressed. There's obviously a short barrel, eight point three inch barrel. It's got what a lot. What can of, you run on it? <laughs> hmm? What can are you running on it? Um, I've ran, I think, an M4 2000, uh, an SRD 7.62. Um, I want to say I, I don't remember what other cans I've run on here. I was just curious. Okay. 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 By the way, I put about, I mean, there's still room in there, but I got about half of my balls in that bag. Uh, Lola, if, <laughs> sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. If Lola's listening, you if if you guys want like an actual accurate ball count. Because I can't like actually do this and actually and count how many balls are going in there at the same time. But look, we got it filled up, and there's still like I forgot to mention there's like pockets on the side of this. That thing is pretty here. sweet. How do I get into so, that drawing? <laughs> yeah. Um. So there we go. You got. You have to. You know, in order to win this, you're gonna have to uh, comment on this video. Comment on the video. And uh, like the video, obviously share it. Like if you share it and tag Brownells and tag Hank Strange, that's the best way that you're going to get into it to win this. And of course, you have to be on Hank Strange TV. Lola, you officially you get the job of officially counting my balls. You've done it before. So you don't have to do it in here, but I'm you could, not doing it in here. Yeah, give us an official count. We're gonna, you, we're you're not going to count his balls on camera? That's yeah. I don't know if I trust you then. Yeah. Um, I, I you can know. trust Lola. You can trust Lola. I want to okay. win the bag. No, you can't win the bag, Lola. Nice you can't bag. win. It's pretty nice, isn't it, yeah. Lola? <laughs> nice thing, bag. It is it's a nice bag. nice bag. It is a nice bag, but you can't win it. So you got to let us know how many balls are in there, Lola. Lola will come back and let us know. So there you go. There's a link to that. If you if you can't wait to win it, but you want to check it out on Brownells, there's a link in the video. But we are going to give that away. And the thing that we're going to do, Babyface has that 2245. When we go to shoot it, we're going to come back and look at this video and all the people that commented. We're going to pick out someone, make sure that they're on HankStrange.tv. Of course, we'll check their email address, et cetera. And then we'll announce them when we make the video. So, do you want to show off that gun real quick, Babyface? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I could. Yeah, show um, it off. So, what's the deal? Why did you buy this gun? Let's start with that. <laughs> because it was dirt, dirt cheap. That's oh. the reason I bought oh. it. Somebody, what? somebody traded it into the shop. Do you want me to say what the price was? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you uh, can say it, right? It's not a thing. Because no, it it's not a secret. People, people trade stuff into shops all the time for yeah. not even close to what they're worth. Nope. Um, 
I guess he was he wanted something on the wall pretty badly, so he traded this in for one hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay. Nice. <laughs> what exactly? So I, I I walked in like right after he traded nice. it in, and I was like, uh, "Don't even put that out. I'm taking it with me." <laughs> so yeah. I took it one hundred twenty seven dollars. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So Dick. I took it with me, and um, I've always, I, uh, to be perfectly honest, I've actually always wanted a twenty two forty five. I have a buck mark. Always wanted a twenty two forty five, but. I think the factory Gen thir- Gen threes Mark three twenty two forty fives need a lot of upgrades to make them like really awesome. So that's what I did. I got lucky. I got some parts. We upgraded it. Um, it has the main thing is it has the Volkortsen accurizing kit. So it has a single stage, single stage, and then it breaks at like two and a half pounds. It's really really light. Um, we went with went with uh, fire sites, the Williams fire sites. Hopefully, you guys can see. Yeah, awesome. we can see it. There you nice. go. Yeah. yeah, they glow yeah. pretty well. Um, totally adjustable, right? Yeah, yeah, completely adjustable, which is nice. And they pick up the light really well. Um, I went with what else did I do to it? Uh, I did the cane wolf, which I need to work on. The cane wolf is the slingshot on the side, so you don't have to actually have to press down on your mag or on your bolt catch to release it. Um, it's not perfect. I need to adjust it a little bit, but I'm going to do that. And last but not least, I did the hammer bushing from Tandem Cross. So you no longer have to have a mag in the gun to pull the trigger. Oh, that is, nice. That is the most infuriating thing about this. To take this gun apart, you have to put a mag in, pull the trigger to drop the hammer, take it apart, pull the mag out, then take the top off. Um, yeah. So that, that's, a, that's a good upgrade. Oh, biggest, biggest fix for this gun. That is like the biggest thing that I hate about this gun. Um, but overall, it's it's awesome. I haven't shot it yet, so we'll put some ammo through it this weekend, maybe. Yeah. Oh, and then last last but not least, I picked one of these up from the shop. We had these um, on sale a while back. Um, I think we had them on sale for like one seventy. This is the Ruger Silent SR Silent Sir. Uh, it's a twenty two can dedicated twenty two can. So it was like one hundred seventy. I was like, eh, why not? Yeah. So, buy uh, another can. So someone's <laughs> so asking. Together. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Now, as I say, all together, that's the package. Okay, very cool. So someone's asking oh, if you have to put in a hashtag to uh, win the bag. Put in hashtag Brownells. There, there you, you go. go. That'll help. That'll help get the attention of Brownells. Try to if you if you want to get attention of Brownells, if you really want them to say, "Hey, we noticed this person shared it," then you want to share it with and tag them. So if you share it on Facebook, tag Brownells, tag me. If you share it anywhere else, just tag. You know, uh, do some tagging so, on there. That would help. So hashtags, etc. For, for, there's a couple questions in chat. Some people are saying Ruger versus Smith and Wesson victory. Personally, if you have the money to buy the Mark IV 2245, I say go for it all the way. Uh, the new takedown, instead of having to mess around with the little pull tab, and the new takedown is you just press a button and the whole top lifts off. It's incredible. Um, but again. People were. I had somebody tell me the other day, "Oh, you should get a uh, Mark IV," and I was like, "Yeah, Mark IV is like 400, 500 bucks. This is one hundred twenty-five. I'm I'm not going to go buy a Mark IV." Yeah, I've never. I've taken thing. my Mark III apart one time. Exactly. You don't need to, don't need <laughs> to take the, it apart. One of the guys at the shop was like, "You should just shoot it until it's absolutely filthy and it won't run, and then sell it and then buy a Mark IV." <laughs> yeah, that um, thing will fall apart before you do that. Yeah, it's not, it's not impossible to clean it. I've done it. So someone's asking the difference between that and the victory. Yeah, we, you've shot the victory, haven't you? Yeah, um, I have a victory. You know, um, we actually had some issues with it. We sent it back to Smith and Wesson, and we got it back. I have not had a chance to shoot it, so maybe we'll do some kind of video like that down yeah, down sure. the line. Um, and all those parts, I should mention that all the upgrade parts. Well, for mo- most of the upgrade parts came from Brownells, right, baby? Everything. Face? No, everything came from Brownells. It's awesome. Other yeah. than the gun, gun and we'll the, the... work with onion bun. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's what? asking what I'm eating. <laughs> oh. Oh. Like what? <laughs> sorry, full pork oh. with onion bun. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the gun and the suppressor came from obviously Big Daddy Guns. Um, all the parts, though, all the internals came from Brownells, and it is so appreciated because this gun. Uh, I got a uh, Mark III, but it's basic. It's the same one you have, but I don't have the mm-hmm. light. I have the heavy. Oh, uh, the lights! The lights are surprisingly are awesome. nice. Yeah, I bought it before good. the lights came out, and now, and I like it. I use it for shooting varmints and stuff in the backyard. But <laughs> that's—I was actually going to say—we are back to that time of season where armadillo are tearing up my yard. 
So this may uh, this may come in here. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. What is the purpose for you? I mean, I think we all probably, Joe, you've got 22 pistols, right? I think all of us here yeah. have several 22 pistols. What's your purpose of this 22 pistol, Babyface? Uh, this will be a target gun. This is something I'll, this will be a fun gun. Let's say that. Um, I, I do use a 22 pistol for my CCW class. So this will probably now fill that role as well. Um, but besides that, this is like the most fun you can have at a gun range for like 20 bucks. You buy a, a, kit, a, a brick of ammo and you can shoot it all day long and have so much fun with it. So that's what it's going to fill. That role is what it'll fill. Yeah. Um, what kind of barrel? Oh, what what kind of barrels on that one? Uh, this is just this, the standard uh, 2245 light barrel that comes with it. Okay. Uh, it's the the fluted, the black fluted. Um, I believe each of the colors when the light came out, each of the different colors had a different fluting pattern. So like one of them had holes drilled, one of them had them like slant cuts. The black one just had a standard flute cut in it. Um, but they're really cool. Uh, it's. Yeah. I've wanted to run for a long time. It's uh, it feels like a 1911, but it shoots 22. It's it's awesome. Yeah, I think that's cool. Joe, did you have a question there? Okay, <laughs> let's see. Um, okay, what's going on? Getting thrown up here. Okay, people have to know exactly what kind of pulled pork. <laughs> so there you go, Jack Daniels pulled pork for anyone who wants to know. And uh, by the way, Jacob is, was sending me pictures of his. Uh, his 2245s Ooh, right are, are those stainless or blued i can't tell yeah, from the um they look sta yeah they look like they're stainless he says mark three and four threaded target barrels that's right that's what's so up there you go yeah did you have any questions on that one joe before we get away from the uh 2245 um no no i i i had one for a second but uh he answered it so i'm good oh okay <laughs> there you go yeah <laughs> that was easy so anyone who's interested in seeing um, Babyface actually install these oh. parts or talk about it, go ahead, Babyface. Yeah, I guess I should say that. Uh, I put them up on my YouTube channel over Monday night. I did all the work. I put it all together and tried to film all of it. It was a – trying to – so gunsmithing is, is not difficult. Gunsmithing in front of a camera is, is a nightmare because <laughs> for me, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can see it perfectly. And then you realize, like, the camera's over here, and it can't see anything you just did. Yeah. Um, it, so – that is a YouTuber's nightmare yeah. trying to like install, uninstall, <laughs> fix Yeah, something. exactly. I I have I probably put the parts in this gun each part a total of four times. Because I filmed it once using Hank's camera and I didn't like how it came out. And in that time, you know, I did a dry run to make sure I knew how they went in and they did it on camera. Yeah. Now you um, didn't like how it came out because of lighting. The lighting. Yeah, I didn't uh, have the. I didn't have good lighting at the time. So I then stole some light cubes from Hank yes, and which I redid want all the videos. I want so those. Yeah, I, probably, I want those lights uh, back. Uh, I don't know if I can give them back. Those things are nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've probably put those parts into this gun at least four times at this point now. So if anybody needs a, any help installing them, I am now an expert on yeah. <laughs> installing this crap. Yeah. So. But yes. What's, awesome. what's your phone number again, so people can call you and ask? Oh you yeah, yeah. Send the yeah, send give me a personal cell. Personal cell. <laughs> personal cell. Personal cell. Listen, you did videos. You did videos. Yeah, so if anyone right wants there. to see it, yeah, go check out the video that Babyface did, and then him and I are actually going to do a video. That's the reason why we're doing um, this in the podcast tonight. We're going to give away that bag, like we said. When we do, when we actually shoot the gun, we're going to have that bag on the range with us, and we're going to announce who wins it. So, um, you know, you guys can get up all up in there. We'll talk about it a little bit more. But uh, that was cool. Were there any questions from the people for this, um, for the 2245? So. 22's the most fun. Who, does anyone here hate 22's? Let's, let's Oh, how out. could you? <laughs> okay. Who's here, who here is un-American and hates What's a 22? 20? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like heat? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 22s, are, 22s are awesome, man. I think uh, like that's the most fun for the money. You know, the most fun no, for I'm the money going right there. Totally yeah. And yeah, uh, if, go ahead. If I, had, if I had the cash flow, um, I think whoever it was that was selling the American 180 uh, full auto 22, it's still available. It's still at the shop. We have it in the safe over there. I think American. he was asking too much for it. Remember, it, it's like a Thompson machine gun with oh, a, oh, the, yeah. oh. Big, the big magazine on top. Yeah, isn't that thing full auto? It is. Yeah, it's a transferable full auto. Um, oh. He wants a little too much, whoever it was. I'm not sure. But um, if I How had the cash. How much did he want for it? 
six, seven thousand, something like that. No, that's cheap. It really? must have been more than that because I remember going up at, like crazy. Mac tens used to be like five grand. Now they're like ten. Yeah, everything's yeah. going up on full auto again. When you get yeah. into full auto twenty two, oh my god, because it's cheap. If you're, you don't feel like like an M sixteen. Every time you dump a mag, you're like, ooh, okay, that was a lot of money. Or especially a three hundred eight or a fifty. Whew. But twenty two, you can just sit there and burn through it all day long. I got a conversion it's... kit for my tw my M sixteen, and I converted a barrel over to dedicated twenty two for shooting. Oh, so and I much just run it with a can all the time. I use the CCI. <laughs> CCIs work great. They yep. burn pretty clean for twenty two ammo. Oh man! And I bought a uh, Mad Dog or Black Dog fifty round drum. Oh man, that oh, thing! Oh my so oh nice. Oh god! Shoot. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. So let's see. The pant says he loves 22. By the way, Joe, feel free to jump in if you got any questions or anything here. Um, the pant says he loves 22. Christian Gress says they're un-American if they hate 22. Boss Hog <laughs> says not me. Boss Hog, you got to clarify. Are you saying that you do not like 22? <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> um, Jason Wall says 22s are awesome. Great starter gun for a new shooter. Vanessa Kitty says must use 22 LR for hunting the lands. Uh, Mika says, agree, love the 22s. Go ahead. The first time I put a gun in somebody's hand, if I ever take a, like a new shooter to the range, something like this is the first gun I will put in their hand. Because it's so unassuming, non-intimidating. It's suppressed. It's quiet. It's easy to shoot. I do the same thing. We yeah. do the same thing. Nothing yeah. put in their bad, hand so and if, you put their, if they do one of these numbers, they don't get beamed by the yeah. – nothing moves on the gun. Yep. I do the exact same thing with a can. It, it really is and the best you, gun for a starter. And then you see their face light up after they shot it, and you're like, right? Isn't that amazing? And then they just – it opens up from there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, Christian says, uh, my favorite 22 is my suppressed AR upper mounted on the BFS-3 equipped AR lower. Pretty cool. I uh, still – eventually I'm going to buy one of those triggers just to have fun with. Yeah. Michael Pearl says, even more fun with a silencer. Uh, Jonathan says, uh, Jonathan Stallmill says, 22 Plankster just did a video on the 22 mag vault quartz and scorpion. Sweet. Ooh, I'm look that up. Yes, I think I, I think I saw that he uh, threw that video up. I saw that on uh, on social media. Um, Isn't he sponsored by them? I think he is. Uh, I'm not sure. He could be. And wow, floppy garbage. Go ahead. I was just going to say, vault quartz and scorpion, it's basically, it basically looks like a 2245. In 22 Magnum. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 22 Magnum is awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I like 20, oh, I like 22 God. Magnum. It comes in all sorts of, like, patterns and colorings. Look at this, like, super Americana one. Hold on. I'm going to like this. And, and by the way, nobody's going to beat 22 Plinkster for 22s, but we could try. <laughs> right, so I'm not even going to go there. Check out that thing I just linked. That is, like, we the most try. Americana 22 I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Here, I'll put it in. I'll put it in the chat. Yeah, put it in the chat. All right, cool. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got a bunch of comments. Uh, Scamp nine hundred says twenty two is the official round of the Trump protest movement. Because <laughs> you know, you guys heard about that professor. At, uh, Shot himself in the arm. What, yeah. What? How crazy are you? Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, he was driving oh, around with his gun and went off, and he tried to play that bull. You think yeah. so? <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Hey, let me shoot myself in the arm. Let's see what happens. I just, I it's mean, at least crazy. Pitch, pitch some fat back over here or something if you're going to shoot yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joe, what were you going to say just now? I guess just that. that. Uh, oh, Darwin at work. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that would have been here. <laughs> yeah. So um, you weren't here, Joe. I know that um, I think Trey and I were here. What, do you have any comments on that guy in Nevada, that professor? And you no. must have seen this. You must have seen it. I, I saw a very, very short clip. I didn't go and see the whole thing. I just basically saw him shooting himself in the arm. You know. <laughs> Wait, there was video of this? Wasn't there something? I thought I thought there was something I saw. Oh. He put up uh, – so he – well, no. So the, the only thing I could say, the reason why it has to be true, is he taped a $100 bill to the, to the mirror in the bathroom – and then wrote a note saying, like, this is for the janitor who has to, like, clean up the blood. Yes. Like, oh, my God. You're insane. Yeah, well, at least he this... was courteous. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, there's so much crazy going on in that story. Okay, so um, Joe, do you have any, what 22s do you have right now, Joe? Um, uh, like a Walther P22, uh, Ruger Mark II, Browning, what's the Buck Mark? Okay. I think. Um, Ruger 1022s, Marlin, uh, Savage B22. Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. 22, 22s are awesome. What about you, Trey? You must have like a ton of 22s. I have four 1022s. I have three Mark. I have a Mark one, a Mark three, and another Mark three. Um, oh. I got a Savage. I got a Marlin. I mean, Adam, to be honest with you, I do have a ton of 1022s. I have a single action 22 Ruger that I really love, a revolver, and that thing is awesome. Um, cool. I mean, I could sit here all day and talk about 22s. I have a bunch of those NAA gun 22s. Have you seen those before? I have one downstairs. I have the bug out with uh, that yeah. comes in like the. the yep, I love, love those little. And I have an AR7 also. Um, yeah. Which is the. Uh, which one? The Henry? One, which was in the stock. Do you, have the, do you have the Henry one or. Oh, crap. The, you know, I'm AR7. not sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 20, you can go on and on with 22s. I know I have, Henry calls it the survival rifle. I've got can, one of those. You can get crazy with, with things like this or the, the 1022s. You can spend so much money on them, you can outprice the gun by like three times with accessorizing yeah. them and making them awesome. And that's so, and that's so amazing. <laughs> so great. <laughs> I, know. I, re I remember um, I was talking to my friend, William Bethards. I don't know if anyone's heard of William Bethards. But he, was, he, was, um, he was a Marine. He was on the TV show Top Shot. Um, he works for the FBI Training Academy in Quantico. Um, he also shoots for Cabot Guns that have the expensive um, 1911s. And I was talking to him about that, how people complain about the prices of guns and stuff and how they're too expensive. Like the Cabot, Cabot at one time, their entry level gun was 7,500 bucks. And uh, I think now they have like an entry level Cabot 1911 that's around 3,500. Anyway, oh, will it? Moly. Yeah, William, he's competitive shooter, and he told me, dude, I have, like, uh, 22s that are $10,000. So, go ahead. Oh, okay, I think Joe muted himself. I thought he was going to say something. All right, so you can go You can go real crazy with 22s. Um, Hank, Hank has, from experience, he can tell you. He has gone crazy with some 1022s. Yes. Okay, let's see. Wait, let's see what um, – so is this a Henry or is this like I a? Honestly, don't remember. I've, this had, had, I've had it for a long time. It might be an original. I don't remember if it's a Henry it? or if it's the. What's on the butt pad? What does the butt pad say? Oh, you know what? It does say it. No, it's the Charter Arms one, the AR7 oh. Explorer. So it's the old one. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's really cool, man. That's nice. Yeah. So you. Probably... Yeah. So I think that was before Henry um, either bought the rights to yep. it or whatever happened there. The Mac. Yep. And there you go. Pure awesomeness. Been a while since I put it together because I don't bring it out that much. It is pretty cool though. It's very mm -hmm. unique. Yeah. I think this is something you can just everyone can have one of these in their truck or. You know, it really is a survival oh, a thing. Pack anything because it all yeah. fits yeah. In waterproof stock. It's pretty sweet, and you can have a couple of some ammo in there and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. that, you know, like that. Really neat. Yeah, Hopefully and it's I been it it's been time. in a ton of movies. It's been a ton of movies. Uh, James, James Bond, Bond shot a helicopter down with it. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Bond. I'm gonna go look from this Russia up. with love. He shoots down a helicopter. He's using the same gun. Yeah. That's not the only. <laughs> that's not the only James Bond movie. I'm pretty sure it was in Goldfinger. Oh, was it? I don't remember now. It, you know what? Yeah. Darmo could have been. I think it was also in Goldfinger, and it was in, It's been a, uh, that's been in a bunch of different movies, actually. So, um, if you guys look it up, you'll see. Okay, Trace putting it AR together. There we go. AR Boom. Seven Explore. There you go. So, is that a seven or is that a Henry Survival Rifle? It's a seven. Nice. Yeah, that's. Right, I, I, I thought that's what. You said yeah, I'm a huge Henry, Henry fan, fan, though, so I'll probably wind up getting the Henry also. So what's up with the coloring of that? Is that just the plastic? That's just the plastic it came with. I think they, again, I'm not an expert on this gun, so I don't want to tell anybody there's something wrong. I think they actually started issuing these in uh, gear, survival gear for uh, like B B-52 pilots or something. I think so. Uh, this is just the stock it came with I, when I originally got it. I don't think I paid very much for it. 
guy didn't really care for it, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I got it a while back. And I just yeah, yeah no, had that's it cool. Since. No, that's cool for sure, man. I like that. That's cool because you got one of the older ones before. I have mm -hmm. a Henry one. But that's actually pretty cool. Someone, I'm sure someone can look up and see um, if you if you IMDb it or whatever or or Wikipedia the uh, AR7. You're gonna find um, there's lots STL, of references. STL Storm Spotter says it was in uh, Goldfinger as well. Yeah, yeah. I think when um, he shot someone with it, or he shot. I think he stopped the girl from doing something. Something something weird happened. Or he was going to shoot someone with it. I don't know. Something like that. So I forgot that. So guess what? Everyone, we were talking about Ruger 1022s, right? Mm hmm So, uh, and we're talking about Brownells tonight. Well, guess what? Brownells has a 1022 oh. receiver. Ooh. Yes. Oh, God. And, Are we making uh, another one? <laughs> yes. And it just came in the mail. So I don't know. Let me see. Let me pull out my light. I don't know if you guys could even see the uh, writing on here. I don't know whether or not you could see it, but I can see it. We can't make it out that well. Yeah, I can't read yeah. what it says. So um, here, I'm going to use my flashlight on this. If you hold it up to the camera, put your hand behind it. A lot of times it'll, it'll... yeah. So oh, there it, you go. That'll work. The BRN 22, and it has Brownells Inc. Montezuma on it. Here, let me see if I could. Uh, I don't know if you guys will see that or not Ooh. on there. The camera does not auto adjust well, does it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's actually really the auto. It, the auto adjust. The auto adjust is off on the camera right oh, now. Oh, then use a flashlight. Yeah, hold on. Let's I mean, see. we can I see the it. lettering. You just can't make. I will it yeah, on here so you guys can it. see. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. <laughs> now it's washed out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. There we go. So you see yeah, yeah, serial yeah, okay, number. See a lot better now. All right. Yeah. So there you go. It's uh, Brownells. And uh, you can probably read what whatever serial number is on there. So this just came in. This is the BRN22 from Brownells. Other people make receivers as well, not just Brownells. But you can now get these from Brownells. So, yeah, babyface, guess what? We're making another Ruger 1022, mofo. <laughs> How many have we made now? It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going down. We can, I could probably put this one. I could almost. I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say I could do it during the show, but I could put it together. So Brownells also has uh, another cool thing from Brownells here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stand by while I whip this out. That's that's a movie line, by the way. Yes, it is. Blazing Saddles. Oh, look at that, man! You're Such a good movie. Damn, Trey, you're 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 good I'm a with movie them. buff. Yeah. So Brownells is making the barrels too for 1022. Oh, nice. Okay. Boom. So we got that in. So we're gonna. We're going to probably do, you know, more than one project. So there we go. Brown else has that going. So I figured, you know what, since um, ATI Outdoors, we do a lot of stuff with. Check that out. Ruger 1022 <laughs> kit from ATI Outdoors. Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty These are sweet. fun. You don't, you don't like making 1022s, babyface? I love it. <laughs> they're, just, they're just a pain in the butt because they're – uh, the barrels are fitted so tight sometimes that it's such a pain in the butt to get them in. Yeah, I'm going to open up all Hank, these. And then when Hank says, hey, I want to put this barrel in something else, you have to go and figure out how, not you, I have to go and figure out how to take it back out so we can repurpose it for something else. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> yes, you know what? I actually want to do a bullpup. A bullpup. Uh, so do you guys see that Joe has, do you see Joe has this uh, PS90 right there? Behind him, he's got the real PS90. Yes, Ooh. there's um, this you can get a bullpup kit for, for the 1022. Oh, yeah, that's the yeah. there you go. There you go. Yeah, I <laughs> carry a 57 pistol in the store. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, 57 and and the FN uh, the um, PS90 is awesome. So, check it out. Here's the uh. There's that part of the ATI kit. Let me see. This, this has to somehow come apart. There you go. Boom. It splits apart like that. Nice. So I'm guessing the receiver goes in here somewhere. I got to figure all of that out. Yeah. Babyface tries to stop me from going from going all crazy on these uh, on these bills. But you can't stop me. Can't stop. Won't stop, Babyface. <laughs> this is happening. We're building. We're building this one. Well, they're not expensive either. Looks like the Brownells uh, receivers are eighty dollars. That's not too yeah. bad. Yeah. So. But here's the real question: Do they do a takedown receiver? Uh, Does anybody uh, do a takedown? Receiver? I don't know. That's a good question. Because the the takedowns in 
Um, in the Magpul Hunter stock, those are pretty cool. If you haven't seen one of those, the barrel fits into the stock and it, it collapses into kind of a whole a whole thing. It's really neat. Hmm. So no, does no, Archangel. No. Archangel has a stock similar to that, too. Yeah, yeah, have one? Yeah. yeah, there's quite a few people that make stocks. Um, I think there's a few people that make uh, bullpup stocks as well. So, but right now, I mean, I would love to do a bull. I have to make a bullpup 1022. Make it as bullpups. <laughs> What's wrong with this? You always got to awesome. have a bullpup. <laughs> we have to do a bullpup. Oh, I'm sure we will. Yes, we get, oh, get, we are. get the kit. We'll put one together. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking into it right now. As long as we don't happen. have to film every intricate detail. We can do it pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So there's a bunch of there's a bunch of parts here in this um, ATI kit. So we're gonna we'll we'll probably do something like that with the uh, brown L's. Ah, uh, uh, DCG forty four. The ten twenty two takedown patent hasn't expired, which is why nobody makes an aftermarket receiver. That makes sense. I didn't even think about that. Oh, uh, so that that's means why everybody did. makes a, a Gen three Glock is because the patents are all expired. Yeah. Um, so flopping garbage sent me his uh, 1022. There you go. Boom. Let me see if you guys can see it's that. Hard to see. It's too bright. Yeah, it's bright up there. But there you go. Ooh, it looks like um, it it's, looks like uh, it it's stainless. The carbine stock, like the yeah. uh, M1 carbine stock. Yeah, yeah. So we'll put it's that. We'll the be original one. We'll be putting that yeah. together sometime soon, babyface. Cool. Just so you know, we're gonna put this one together right here. We'll build this up. Maybe do some cool things with it. Uh, while I figure out like which uh, bullpup one I'm gonna make, so I think we got like a couple of 1022 projects going right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard back about the suppressor at all? Um, no, not no. yet. Okay. I gotta check up on that. So we um, got that. We, we got a bunch of other ones. You have another one. If you ever wanna give it to Walter and have him turn it down, we could probably make it work. Oh, okay. By the way, Lola finished counting the balls. So Lola said uh, it was 117 balls that went into this bag. Nice. So there you go. Um, you know, and we are giving this away for anyone who's tuning in right now. You want to share this video. You want to like it. You want to comment. Put hashtag Brownells in there. Make some kind of cool comment. Share it on social media, whatever you have. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. Just at do something like at Brownells. And then Babyface and I are gonna pick out the person who wins this when he goes to shoot that twenty two forty five that he has. Cool. So, you know, and I think we should do. Um, I don't know if you guys want to go to news. Joe, you want to go to some news? Have you been sure. looking up any news back there? We're gonna come back and then I'll do a giveaway of some sort. Um, what What have you guys seen in the news today? Hurricane Florence. That's Florence. pretty much it. Hurricane. Yeah, all hurricanes all the time. All hurricanes all the time. Um, yeah. I, I I saw a fantastic uh, breaking news uh, event. Uh -oh. um, for those of you who aren't familiar, and uh, now that I've heard it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, IPAs, right? So you guys are familiar with IPAs. Remember England, uh, the blimey Brits, they wanted their skunk beer over in India, but they had to ship it all the way down around Africa and up to India, right? Well, it was going bad. So they just figured, well, we'll just we'll just dump a bunch of na our nasty hops in there, and then you know, then you can still <laughs> drink it in India, right? So IPAs are the pumpkin spice latte <laughs> for the beast white man. It's very true. I've heard that before, and it is totally true. I, right? I mean, it makes sense, right? <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> and oh, this, was <laughs> this was breaking news. This was breaking news. That's breaking news. Oh, boy. Uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, it's India Pale Ale. Yes. Right? He, asks, he says IPA. So you like India Pale Ale? Is that what you're saying? You're a fan? No. No, I, not, not really, no. I mean, you know, we they're kind of they're gross tasting. Oh. We, since then, we've invented this thing called uh, railroads and tra tractor trailers, right? So they can get me my beer, uh, you know, quicker than three to six months, right? So, yeah. Yeah. I just think it's the hip, cool thing to do right now is to drink all these IPAs. I'm yeah. not saying I haven't had an IPA that doesn't taste good, but at the same time, I'm a whiskey guy. Sorry. I'm good with whiskey, too. 
Yeah. Whiskey yeah, sour, whiskey, um, on, whiskey on the rocks. If I can't sterilize my wounds with it, I'm not want to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Moobutt. All right. All right. Moobutt has so far the best comment here. Uh, uh, Heffenweizen. That, that's my favorite favorite genre of beer. Favorite whatever you would call it. Oh, I love Hefeweizens. <laughs> Um, Jason Wall says, by the way, in the line of news, <laughs> Jason Wall <laughs> says, some dude walked into a titty bar in Sayreville, New Jersey with an AK and got arrested. I haven't seen that news, babyface. I don't know if you can, or one of you guys. Um, should I search for titty bar arrest? Yeah. Is that just, what you, just search what you want to search for? <laughs> yeah. I think you need to narrow it down a little bit more than that. Yeah. <laughs> just search, some dude walks into a bar. <laughs> you know, or dude walks into a bar. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> just just doing the, the literal search titty bar arrest there people get arrested at like strip clubs constantly <laughs> yes oh, oh, I have no figure that <laughs> <laughs> that's that would be the number one place to get arrested <laughs> if you want to get arrested that's where you want to get arrested <laughs> so it but, okay but you haven't seen that uh, story yet right S strip club employee put on tactical gear and armed himself with an AK47 cops say they arrested him nearby. This is somewhere in New Jersey. Okay, the employee of the bar had the, he put on um, tactical gear, A armor. A Sayreville strip club employee was arrested Tuesday afternoon after he donned tactical gear, armed himself with a rifle, and bolted from the club, uh, authorities said. After 4 p.m. on Tuesday, police received calls that an employee at <coughs> Vision's Gentleman Club was inside the Route 35 club with a gun, police said, and they arrived and arrested him. He had an AK-47, oh, military so the, style. He had a ballistic vest, a ballistic helmet. What was he doing? <laughs> so the boobies made him go crazy. But he didn't so do did. anything. Yeah. Yeah. He he went the wrong direction. He ran out of the club. I don't even get that. <laughs> that does not compute. <laughs> they went the wrong way. Yeah. I don't understand. Okay, let's see what, what other uh, what other news is out there. Um, I see this. I never heard of this gun, but um, so here I'm going to put this in the chat so you guys could check it out, Joe, and everyone else here. You can you guys can check this out. Um, the Archon Firearms Type B is shipping. I never heard of that. I saw that. It looks neat. It looks um. It looks really similar to the oh, what was the Russian pistol that they brought in couple years back yeah let me share this oh, i can't think of what it was called i did uh i did an article with a bunch of pictures and a breakdown of it back oh what are God, you talking january about? 26 january 2016 shot show the archon yeah okay so tell, us, tell us about it back then it was yeah. called the arsenal strike b that's it oh this that's what i was thinking it looks just that's like the exact, arsenal strike yeah, exact same gun um okay. what happened was Allegedly. Well, I mean, a, a lot of things happen between what should have been released in 2016 and where we are now. Um, so they had, there were some production issues, there were some import issues, and then uh, there was a lawsuit based on their name, Arsenal, um, you know, because how many arsenals are there in the U.S.? So I don't know which arsenal sued them, but one of the arsenals sued them and they had to completely change their name and they had to remill the slides uh, to get <laughs> Arsenal off the slides and remove it uh, from the firearms. And oh, finally, wow. last week, they shipped a small number to allegedly to make their end of August shipping date. Although, you know, I, I seriously doubt it actually made it out in August. I mean, these really went out in September 1st, you know, September 3rd, 4th, whatever. Um, and then, of course, we had uh, only a handful. So most of those other ones aren't going to ship till at least the end of this month. Um, so there's people who have pre-orders or that are pre-existing since myself included since, you know, early 2016. Um, so, you know, if it wasn't for the folks that, and I see this article you linked to mentions rain six, mm -hmm. they're one of the, uh, they're one of the importers. If I didn't go through rain six, I would have, uh, I probably would have canceled it when all the lawsuit stuff came through because for me, um, customer service is a big thing, right? That, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is customer service. And when all this lawsuit stuff happened, I mean, our, from Archon slash Arsenal standpoint, their communication has been horrendous. I mean, they left people who had pre-orders at one point that were outstanding by 18 months. They just let them hang for a couple months 
just going dark, not saying a word to anybody. Um, you know, as far as community, I mean, I understand things happen. There's import issues, there's lawsuit issues, right? But you can't leave people who have put, you know, $850 down on a handgun. I just swinging in the breeze and no one's talking to anyone at all, at all for months, right? Um, now, Rain Six, the guy down there, um, he offered to anybody who wanted the entire time, if you want a refund on your pre-order, I'll refund you, you know, at any time. So, I mean, you know, he, he stood behind it, but um, I gotta tell you, I am not at all pleased with, uh, with the corporate side, the Archon factory side of things, how they've handled it. Um, okay, makes sense. I mean, my my pre-order is still out there, but... Um, and how much did you know. put down on this? I think the minimum, I believe, was 75 for the pre-order. And I don't remember exactly when you had to pay what, but I know mine has been paid, uh, mine has been paid in full for at least a year and a half. Wow. 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 So what was so awesome about this gun that you would, you know, you would pay it's, in front of it? So, and, and I mean, we're, we're all type, talking hypothetical here, right? They made changes to it from the pre-production models. Um, you know, I haven't had one in my hand. So this is going back now, uh, you know, with 20, I, I don't know, over two years, right? <laughs> so uh, it feels really good in the hand. It sits low in the hand. Um, the barrel sits low. It's got a great grip angle. There are a lot of things I liked about it. Um, basically everything I look for in a handgun, so to speak, is kind of in this. I mean, they take the best aspects of a night, you know, kind of 1911-ish kind of English grip, VP9. I mean, there's a lot of, they took from a lot of different handgun designs to come up with what they came up with. And okay. I think if it plays out the way it is, we'll see. Now, at this point, I have no idea if I'm going to have one showing up at my FFL in the next week or if I'm going to be in the next batch, uh, which, you know, they're saying the end of September, but, you know, realistically, you know, it's going to be is October probably the earliest we see that. Do you know if there's any difference between the Arsenal Strike One and this new one? Are they pretty much the same gun? So th there, there are several differences. Allegedly, the Type One ma or the the Type One Strike One magazines will work in the Type B, except there will be uh, they'll be they'll stick out the bottom. They won't be flush. Okay. Okay. I don't uh, know if there's any other interchangeability. Is it mostly like product improvements? Is that what you'd say the B has going for it? Yeah, and it's a little smaller. Okay, cool. Smaller. So it's more like know, uh, closer to a Glock 19 size. I know uh, Mil Mac, Military Arms Channel, he did a video on it a while ago. That's how I knew about it. And he had very favorable things to say when he shot it. So Yeah, we'll so I, I see that Razor JB says here, um, I canceled my pre order. Um, and then they're partnered with Salient. That's why the customer service sucks and will continue to suck. I've never dealt with Salient. So, are they are they rough to deal with? Um, I know that they're real high end guns, but I can tell you there's a lot of BS involved around them. <laughs> I think they were in Vegas and then they moved from Vegas, or in their Vegas and in Maryland. I don't know why you would move from Nevada to Maryland and you're a firearms company, but they did something like that. Um, actually, our friend Jesse James that's been in videos with me, not the other Jesse James. We call this one the real Jesse James. He actually won some some guns from Salient and it took him like three years. Or what? something like that to get a crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, so I mean, Salient has these real high-end guns and they look really good, but yeah, I haven't heard a lot of good things other than the fact that their guns look badass and you know, people are always drooling over them at Shot Show and things like that. So, you know, um, there's just there's just some companies like that, right? That they they put some badassery out there, but you can never actually get your hands on it. So, okay. Uh, by the way, if you if ever get your hands on that, Joe, let us know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I hope so. I mean, I hope so. Uh, yeah. I, I've been, like I said, I've been waiting over two years now. So it. It'd be great if it, you know, if you guys could deliver that, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see if there's some other um, news that we have out here. I see Diane Feinstein apparently has some stuff about Kavanaugh, some bombs that she's about of to course. drop. Yeah. Looks like she has yeah. something that's related to hashtag me too or whatever, but, or I don't know. She just says she has some information. Let me read this. This is in reason. It says Diane Feinstein, 
um, has informed the FBI about a previously unrevealed issue in Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's past. In a press release about the matter, she provided no other information, but the public spe speculation has already begun. The New York Times spoke with two officials familiar with the matter who claimed that the information involves a woman's sexual misconduct allegation against Kavanaugh dating back to his high school years. Oh my God, <laughs> who, cares? <laughs> who cares? That's insane. Hey, when I was a kid, I rode a bicycle down the wrong way. Come on, get yeah. out of here. Yeah, yeah that's oh totally crazy. I've, yeah. Um, the, the Intercept made similar claims saying the woman is represented by Deborah Katz, a whistleblower who works for hashtag me too. Um, so who knows? Something like that might be coming out of the woodworks. Don't know if, uh, you know, it's really crazy. How ridiculous is that? Yeah, I you think that I think that's they're desperate if they're going that far back. Clearly, yeah, that's that's really true. Um, and I think that people ha like women kind of need to think about this because all of this is going to get pushed at some point too far, right? We were talking oh, yeah. about Serena, Serena Williams, um, and we had that conversation. But when I really looked at the video. And 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 spent some time looking at what went down. I mean, I think Serena totally lost it. She did. She acted like a child. Oh yeah, she went nuts. Yeah, and um, I, I think not. Like I don't understand why it was a gender thing. She was playing another woman in tennis. I'm yeah, it has, why yeah. It was a she went crazy. She was like, "I have a daughter." Her daughter's like what, six months old or not even? Yeah, it, it doesn't. You know, not even a year old. Your daughter has no concept of what you're doing. But you, she just like lost it, and it's pr pretty terrible for the girl that she was playing against, who won and then apologized for winning. Because How everyone do you made such a apologize for winning. Oh, she did. She apologized because everyone was making such a big stink about it, namely it's Serena ridiculous. Williams. Absolutely so she, ridiculous. She, she literally apologized for, for winning. That's how simple that is. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to be Sorry, careful with all this. You didn't train enough. Sorry. Yeah, I think you have to be careful about these things. I think at some point this is going to get pushed so far that you're going to completely turn off people to any valid um, – you know, any merit to what's going on here. Obviously, yeah. there is merit to it. There's harassment that happens. It yeah. happens in both directions, by the way, where human beings, women sexually harass men, men sexually harass women. We should all be respectful of each other and respect each other's boundaries and all that kind of stuff. I'm totally with that. But at some point, we push this too far and we make people numb on it. And, and I don't think people are getting this. And if you look at this thing, even though maybe there was something that happened with the umpire, Serena, I mean, she was just like walking around saying, you owe me an apology. <laughs> no, he didn't owe her anything. Well, the yeah, thing is, is yeah. if you're competing, if you're competing, focus on winning. You know what I'm saying? And then fight that nonsense later. If you walk, if you go, to see, me, it looked like she went diva mode. See, that's right. the thing that uh, I, I felt like the second she, she just, she, she, he totally got under her skin and she lost it and broke her concentration that she was. Yeah. Blind. And there went was no diva, way she was coming back. From yeah. It. She went diva mode. She called yeah. him, she called him yeah. a liar, a thief and all that kind of yeah. stuff. But, and whatever, I don't care about that. But she kept saying to him, you owe me an a pot. Like, you yeah, owe you anything. That's. That's the thing. We're going to push. She's using an excuse for losing, and it's yeah. all his fault. Yeah. Yeah. The, you get the worst. Beat. Sorry, in yeah. front of everybody. It happens. Yeah. No one ever wins all the time. That's the, not how it is. The worst part of it, if you want to be pro woman, if, even if you want to be, um, you know, even if you want to support other people of color and all that, you just totally devastated this young girl that came up and made all the sacrifices and things like that, that you have to, and that probably the, the, the Williams sisters made in order to get where they've gotten. And then just like, just flush that, just threw that whole thing out the window and, and put this asterisk on her kicking your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's too bad. And I think that this is why we ru we we're running the danger right now of turning everyone off to things, Um, you know, just, just too much of this crap out there, I think, at this yeah. point. So we need to dial back on it a little bit. Otherwise, the people who are legitimately going through things are going to suffer. So um, let's see what else is out there. I saw, let me see, what is this? Uh, uh, there was some other news thing that I wanted There's to. There's not a lot out there. I hate to say it. I didn't see much. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a slow news week for guns. Yeah. You want some Gorn real quick? Yeah, start, show us some Gorn. We're always down Let's for see, Gorn. What do we got? What do we got? All right. So, got this in the mail today, and I was really excited. 
<laughs> um, it was Christmas. Christmas every day. Ordered, ordered myself a new holster. This is the T-Rex Arms Ragnarok with uh, with the light adapter. Okay. But Buckshot's barking at Marley for some reason. Um, for MMP 2.0 with the uh, Enforce uh, APL. Uh oh. So <laughs> she must have. She must have grabbed him. He didn't what like was that. that. Yeah. yeah. She. I think she grabbed him. He <laughs> don't like it when you grab him around the snout. Um. So yeah, for the APL on the full size, or I'm sorry, on well, actually, I believe it works on any of the MMPs. Because uh, oh, cool. I tried it with the five, the five inch and the four inch, and that's pretty both. cool. Fits in, um, and it holds nicely. It's going to need a little more tensioning because it does still slip out. It's only friction fit, uh, but I'm going to run this for two-gun. I'm going to give it a try on two-gun. Um, I think it's going to be really cool. Yeah, so That's that's, that's cool. my new thing today. Let us know how it goes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Congratulations on that. You know what we should probably do? So I've got these Brownells things here. We should probably set up something. So I've got – I can do um, – let me see. So I've got a different T-shirts here. And I don't have all sizes, so I have to tell you right away. So I've got one double XL. I don't know who out there is a double XL, but I've got, or you, or if you have someone that's double XL, we've got a Brownells oh, shirt. Oh, yeah. nice. And you know, we could probably throw in the uh, sweatbands if you want to know. I think you were asking earlier, what are these? So, Babyface, back in the '80s, way before your time, there was this thing called sweatbands. Way before your time. Yeah, when people were playing tennis and stuff like that, they would put these things on on their wrists and their heads, and somehow, I don't know, it like they, they, they were more motivated. We the sweat is that? What you <laughs> yeah, or we just looked cooler. Like or Joe, Joe what was, was that? Joe? Up something that just now. What was that, Joe? Uh, somebody in the chat was asking about Enforce lights, and uh, they heard some various things about them. Um, no, what do you think about the O lights? I like O lights a lot. That's what. Okay, because I'm looking at. I'm probably gonna get one. No, I was looking the at the lights right course. here. Check that out. Look at this oh, Trey, You want to see an O light? Check out this 1200 lumen one. Oh, that's yeah. O light. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, the new Valley. Valkyrie. Yeah, that's here. Take sweet. a look at it. Yeah, it's pretty badass. This I want the, one. The PL2 Valkyrie. It is. Um, it's 1200 lumens, and what is it, Joe? Like um, the regular price. Ninety-nine prices. bucks. Yeah. They're not that mm. expensive. Is that the rechargeable one? No, this uses the uh, CR one two three, I believe. Yeah, two, yeah. Two, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, which we could probably do something rechargeable with that if you want. To. Yeah, you can put the rechargeable ones hey, in there. Hank? If you put the rechargeables in there, I think it only goes to a thousand lumens if you use the rechargeable yeah. ones. Hank? Okay. Yeah. What's that? DJ wants so, to show you something. Uh oh. What? Let's. See, what's this? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I'm sorry. Blocking him. Oh, training shotgun. There you go. <laughs> All right, so Come on. Let's see the rack. Let's see the rack. Good night. You're not gonna. You know, is it rackable? Is it? No, no, it's not rackable. Oh, okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And and uh, I'm sure he. I'm sure he's saying good night to everyone else out there too. Yes, he is. Barely. XL. Oh, yeah. I was looking XL, at getting the O light. Okay. I don't know a lot about it besides what I was looking at online. So I was kind of curious what you guys thought on, thought about it. Okay. They're, from what I've heard, they're good. Everything I've heard from people is they're great. The only problem I have with them um, is they're not super popular and widespread enough yet for holster makers to make holsters for them. Yet. Um, yes. No, I, th I think they will be. I think because, I mean, Enforce, again, Enforce is another one that it wasn't up there until recently. Yeah. Um, so I think I think Olight's going to be there as well eventually. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're curious, Hank, do you have any videos up on the Olights yet? Um, like me, t I haven't. You know, I haven't put this through like any other than showing it here. I mean, I don't know how else. All right. I mean, I'm not right, doing well, any torture is, tests of it. Or anything if like his that. videos up. Feel free to check out mine. Yeah. There you go. Check out Joe's videos. There you go. <laughs> Shameless plug. Do it. Do. Okay. Yeah, no, I was, I was looking at the rechargeable. I guess the MR2 was interesting, and then the the weapon mounted light also. I'll both rechargeable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another one. I don't know if I have it. The either. the mini was it the Valkyrie mini or one of them has the recharging port on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just, it it's got a magnetic piece yeah, right on it. it so does the cool. MR. So so does the MR two. Yeah. It's such a good idea. It Sweet. really it is. is a really good idea. Because essentially, you could have two lights be running one and swap it out and just put it mm -hmm. right on the charger and just let yeah. it sit. Awesome. 
Yeah. So and uh, they're reasonably priced. That's the main thing. The, you know, so um, the guys, the uh, um, uh, T Rex arms for this holster, they make. Uh, you can either get it with or the gun with a Surefire, a Streamlight, or the the um, the Infor. Valkyrie Mini is rechargeable also. Um, and the the sure, Surefire is awesome. They're just so damn expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big Surefire and, guy. <laughs> and it, I mean, if I were if I were seriously going to war with a light, I would have no problem with Surefire. I want something you know you can beat the hell out of. So but for me, every day, I don't. I, I don't feel like I'm surefire. getting bent over by them. To be honest with you. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. with you. Well, I mean, that's the thing that I'm trying to say. Like, for me personally, the thing that I would like, you know, how I test these things is I put them on guns. And then over time, we figure out whether or not it, you know, whether it works or yeah. not. I mean, I'm not really sure what you would do. If you look at the construction, if it works, if it feels good, fits good, you know, <laughs> it's going to take time beyond that. So I think that's yeah. really the thing. I don't see huge differences with the with lights and stuff like that so and and you're talking 1200 lumens to get that you have to get the new x300 which is a thousand lumens and like 300 dollars. so yeah um i think it's kind of becoming like phones you know phones are getting really badass mm -hmm. and unless you really want like an iphone which i have i have iphone i'm not complaining about it but if you really want that and but you want to pay i think the new the cheapest you can get an iphone now is going to be 750 bucks the new the new fully loaded iphone is 1100 dollars. yeah it's go yeah, yeah. it's exactly. crazy yeah so when there's companies making cheaper phones that have good cameras and stuff like that mm -hmm. at some point you want to consider unless you're like me and you're just a complete apple fanboy or whatever <laughs> I can't really talk. I'm on a MacBook. I have an iPhone and an iPad. So yeah. So <laughs> let me do this before we get into anything else because I want to give away some of these things. So okay. So there's uh we put that we uh so let me see right here. So this picture that I did um of Babyface's gun is on Instagram, and I think I'm also going to go to the Hank. It's also on the Hank Strange Facebook. So if you go to the fan page of Hank Strange, you'll see that. It's on Instagram, and then so you know we'll give one away on Instagram. We'll give one away on Hank Strange uh, Facebook slash Hank Strange, and uh, we'll give one away here. So I've only got certain sizes with these T-shirts. So Lola reminded me that on this shirt it's extra large. It's not double extra large. It's extra large. Oh yeah. So who wants an extra large? That the next one. Yeah. So if someone who who's like all the folks hanging out right now, tell me who is XL. And where you commented right now, and we'll go look because I know there's going to be some people that are bigger than that. Like I'm double XL myself, so you know we've got only these specific sizes, guys. So sorry about that. Let me know who's XL, and then uh, Christian Gress says he's XL. Christian, um, where have you com? Did you go comment on Instagram? Let me know if you commented on Instagram and what your handle is on Instagram. Oh yeah, he did actually. He says love Brownells. Okay, Christian, you get the shirt. There you go. Congrats, That's Christian Grest. Yeah. There you you go. get the shirt. Hopefully you're um, on HankStrange.tv. You'll get the shirt in this. So we'll do another one. So the other two sizes that I have are large. So if anyone out there is size large and you want those other two shirts, go to Facebook slash Hank Strange and someone here who's large comment here and Babyface will pick out one of the comments, someone who's size large. Uh, you, guys know how to, you guys know my personality type, so say something funny, I'll pick you. Yes, he's very, he's very and ridiculous. He's, he's very something ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and you got to fit into a large shirt. So. Yeah, you got to fit into a large shirt. We'll give it to someone here as well. Or, so or if if you fit into like a three XL, but you promise to take a picture <laughs> with the with the large. Yeah, you can do the whole crowd of a hole. Yeah, rip rip it. It we could do that too. <laughs> or, or if you're if you're you know, listen, you know, maybe maybe. No, forget it. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> my, my brain is thinking twice. So that means anytime my brain tells me think twice about what you're about to say, I don't do it. I don't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to stay completely away from that. Um, all right. So anyone who's large in here. <laughs>
<laughs> a, a big dick Willie. Um, <laughs> let us let us know in here, but also on Facebook. I'll go check Facebook in a second. All right, I think someone was going to show something. Was it Joe or was it was it Trey? I don't know. No, we were just talking about lights. I got. I don't run a lot of lights, to be honest with you. Um, I don't even run night sites half the time. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh, there's, a reason, there's a reason behind it. I, if it fails, I train without it. Now, do I have? Yeah, of course, I get night sights on this gun. But I, when we do night training on the range, it's dark, and we don't have flashlights. We train without them. Now, I'm running a Viridian green laser on this one, and I like it. But, you know, it's big, and I, I like the O-lights. It really appealed to me. I was originally looking at the Enforce baby face, but I kind of kind of gravitating towards that O-light, and I really like it. Um but we practice shooting without any of that stuff, and then we incorporate it in later on. So the skills there, the light fails or the sights fail, I can still fire. So, so is it really is it like lights point just shooting? tell me where I need to shoot you? What's that? Is it just like point shooting in the dark? Is that what you guys yeah, like work on? Yeah, my wife does it all the time. Usually about 15 yards in, you're easily engage a target and uh, what, uh, engage them. Do you guys do you guys run classes pretty often? Because I'm more yeah. like, I want to take not some. a lot of the night stuff though, but we do. Okay. All right, I'm gonna look at the. I'm gonna look at. Is it like Aries? What's your website? Firearms training. Firearms training. Firearms training. I'm gonna go look tonight. tonight. All right. Yeah. Where am I getting that feedback from? I think it's Joe. Me? Yeah. Somebody's feeding back. Oh, okay. I, mean, right. I don't know. Okay. So, Babyface, did you find anyone? Let's see. I'm gonna go. Oh, look. I got. I got one person that was asking if he wears a large because he was great. David Cardinal, if you wear a large shirt, this is yours because he, uh, he called the uh, XXL in a in a large a sausage casing, which I thought was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Psycho three sixteen looks like he could use one. Okay, is he um is he large size large? Uh. So, David Cardinal, I don't know that you – if you don't wear a large, then – sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah, you might not want it. I mean, if, you're, if your girlfriend or something like that wears a large or someone that you know or whatever, it's all – you know, it's all good. <laughs> Armin Axis. Armin Axis, do you wear a large? Because if you do, that was a good one. He says, show her my O-Light. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you figure out exactly um, – yeah, let me – wear larges. Yeah, let me talk about this real quick because this is kind of news, but it's hitting right now. So I'm trying to avoid, um, trying to avoid like getting into stuff that's coming out right now that I don't fully know everything about it. But I see that our friend Patrick Roberts of the Firearms Rack put up an article about Reed Hendricks uh, from Valor Ridge, who's also my oh. friend. A uh, very cool guy. Apparently, Reed has uh, rules for people coming to do training. And I think um, one of those rules is if you have an internally modified firearm, you know, uh, you're not going to be allowed um, What in the class. So I know Patrick Roberts put up an article about that. I think I saw it on Facebook. If you guys want to look into that. Um, so that's Reed Hendricks from uh, Valor Ridge Training. So he says there's just been too many problems. I asked him. And, I mean, he's uh, got a good point, but if it's a like an armor did it, then it shouldn't be a problem. If Johnny Johnny in his house did it, then I could see him having an issue with that. Yeah, he says I do not allow internally modified guns after they leave the factory. Countless issues, uh, too many to mention. So that's why he made a video. He's just trying to tell people. And look, if you actually take these classes and you come up there with a gun that has problems, you have to know that that slows down the class. And and I think I had this discussion with him where um, yep. he recommends that if you're coming to do a training class, bring two guns. Yeah, that makes person. sense. Yep. Yeah, um, and that happened to me. I went to do the class. I had a, a SIG 5.16, which is actually usually pretty reliable, piston-driven. Something was wrong with it. He was like, dude, that gun has to go. <laughs> so I, I switched over to my, um, to my, uh, my IWI X95, and it was and fine. It ran great, didn't it? Yeah, and I see that. I, I think when I was reading through the article really quick from Patrick, he said that you know he would understand this better if Reed had like a backup guns for people. Well, if there's a class of twenty or thirty or however many people in the class, yeah, come on, he can't bring that many guns out. Get out of here. That's yeah, not even and, realistic. Right, and it's not his responsibility to make sure your gun runs either. 
Right. And those kinds of things slow down the class for that. For that time that my thing wasn't working, you know, uh, it slows down the class. It didn't take a lot of time because Reed was immediately like, listen, this thing has issues. It's got to go right now. <laughs> So oh, did, I think he, that, did he jump on you like instantly, like take that out of class? Well, he, take, he took he took a look at it to see what was going on. <laughs> but, you know, you can't, you can't you can't deep dive into that. You can't spend 10, 20 minutes in the he class just, trying to fix he that just problem. He will kick Hank down the down the, the hill and then said, run back up and go get a new gun. <laughs> yeah, I, think we had a, I went to a bolt class, bolt gun class and took two bolt guns. And, you know, the bolt gun ain't going to break, but I didn't want to have an issue. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have an issue with anything. Yeah. Always take two guns. Most of these, most people will have something for extreme conditions, but you got to realize that many people can have problems. The best thing to do, bring multiple guns with you to train for each person who's going up there. So what is, what does he consider a modded gun? So like, like this, could I train with like my AR? It's pretty basic, but I mean, I, I think, I it's think that it's built by me. Yeah, I think that if you know, I mean, obviously, I, like I said, I haven't had time to look deeply into his video and look at everything that he said, or even read the entire article from Patrick. Maybe this will, um, maybe this will become like more of a thing uh, in later days. Maybe it'll be nothing, um, you know. But um, the thing is, is so I don't want to take any of his words out of context. To be honest with you, I'll try to get Reed to come on at some time, and we can have that conversation. I've done videos before with him talking about what to do when you come up to the class. And I just have to tell people, if you want to experiment when you go to a training class, right there, there's a problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, don't so experiment you, when you're going training. Okay, yeah, no. don't experiment, obviously. But I want to know, like, if my, like, like, this gun here, I would take to war, I guess you would say. I want to know if it would fail me. I, I don't think it will, but I'd like to know yeah, if I can the, the time and place is not in the middle of a class you just paid for with 20 other guys. I if it so. fails because you're shooting and you didn't know, that's different. But, hey, I'm going to test this trigger out today and see what it okay, works. Yeah, you yeah. should have done that yeah. way before you went to the class. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I'm, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and I think probably what he's trying to do is set it up so that he can tell people when these issues come up. Get out of here. You know, if the person starts going, oh, I just tried out this trigger and that thing or whatever. Yeah, it can't happen. You know, and, and, and uh, for example, I'll give you guys some advice. So like I have binary triggers, we test them, we do things with them. If I'm going to a training class, I'm also probably not gonna take that binary trigger to that training class because I may not be the only person handling that thing. And, and that's a recipe for disaster. So I think that he's covering himself. He's within, you know, he's within his rights in my personal opinion to set rules for what goes on in the class. And then to put those things out there, people also need to be aware of what's going on. And we do need to have some kind of courtesy when we go training to, you know, to not get into those situations well, like, with people. Well, yeah. Like our medical class, you start finding out all your gear fails. And like you're running down range shooting at a target and then you, your gun malfunctions. You don't have a sidearm. You're dead, bro. You don't have a way to engage the target. You never hit the target. So... In those classes, I just I stick them off to the side. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. You don't have an extra. You didn't bring an extra rifle. You don't even have a sidearm to work with. You're done. You're out of the game. You're out of the fight. So you just get to watch. I mean, really, that's really what happens. Because how are you going to shoot if you don't have a gun? Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, that's totally true. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a good thing to um to to have a discussion about. What's, what, I, I, I mean, know what, what do you think, Joe? Do? I so I haven't seen what he said. I guess my first question is it and I was just trying to read the article. Uh, I just found it. Anything any rifle handgun that has aftermarket parts uh, internals is out. Is, is, is that specifically what he said? Um, like I said, we're all picking this up right now as it's right. all going on. So, I mean, so there are he has, he has a video on this i think the yeah. number one place people should go to if they're interested in this yeah yeah it's to valor ridge on youtube and and he's on full 30 and a bunch of other places but go there look at his video see what he says um i know reed from my from my my personal opinion he's very practical he trains he does a lot of training i think what he's trying to avo uh, uh, avoid is people getting hurt or these classes being interrupted, slowed down, or creating big difficulties because you brought something that you're really experimenting with and you want to test it during the class. And I don't think that's cool for all the other people that are there. Yeah, I I I, I would agree with that. Yeah, if you if you're if you're trying to you know 
oh, well, I need to run, you know, X number of rounds for this, see if it works. I'll just do it in the class. That's definitely the wrong thing. You need to take proven things, take two guns. Every time, every class I've ever been, been to, I've brought at least one backup rifle every time. Yeah. Uh, I haven't needed it, but I've, but I brought it. Um, yeah. If there were a handful of aft, like, I, I, you know, there's, there's a, there's a trigger that a few people have had that, uh, there's a video too up on it for, for aftermarket Glock trigger that when you reholster it can just go. Um, I, I think we've seen that little clip. I'm not going to put any credence behind it just because I've never experienced this, but, um, so if it's some, if it was something more specific, maybe, but for example, like I have a CMMG Mark IV recce that game, that gun came shipped with a Geisley, uh, uh, SSAE. Uh, so, if I if I brought that class for example, how would he know that I didn't install that Geisley trigger, and it came from you know what yeah. I mean? How, how would it he know? Should be on the yeah. website, right? I mean, when I, you think it'd be under manufacturing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, but I mean, before classes, well, LWRC he goes online is the same and way. these things. It has a Geisley I mean, factory trigger a, also. Mark IV Recce comes. You can get it with the option of having a SSAE in there so from the factory. I, yeah. my, I think, my guess. Good. I, I was just gonna hmm. say, my guess is. This allows him to leave full discretion up to him. So uh, yeah. one one example, and I don't, oh, I do have it next to me. Microtech. When you buy a Microtech, they tell you if you ever take your Microtech apart, it's no longer warrantied. Um, I've taken all of my Microtechs apart and still sent them back under warranty. But that still covers them where they can say, eh, you really screwed with this thing. We're not going to allow you to, to send it under warranty. Probably the yeah. same thing where he can – he has that now on record where he can be like – uh, I don't trust that that gun's going to work. You need something else. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I would agree with that. Like I said, I don't want to speak for him or anyone yeah, else. Really yeah, on the subject of training, which I think we've all done training. I know Babyface actually gives like um, the uh, the pistol class and things like that. Uh, Trey does training. Uh, Joe, you do you do training to some extent. We all, we all either go or do training. Uh, I think – go ahead. I'm sorry, Hank. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I kind of mm -hmm. feel like, as an instructor, if you gun, I'm a lot, like I said, people's guns fail, and I said, I'll help you out, and then we'll work on it. But I'm not gonna sit through the half the class working on your piece of crap rifle. Sorry, you should have <laughs> brought something out that function. Where's your backup? Oh, I don't yeah. have a backup. Okay, now you're using a pistol. I've actually had guys without a pistol either, and I'm like, yeah. What are we gonna do now? Where's our? Where's the problem? The problem now is you failed because your gear has failed. We're not even in a real combat situation. We're working, shooting on range, doing training. You know, when you go to a class, when I went to my the classes, I show up, my guns have already been checked out. I've shot them, made sure they want, check the zero, clean them, and they're ready to go. I'm not out there to be playing around with my weapon. I'm ready to I'm ready to roll. I don't have time to be sitting parting around with my gun. Yeah. I think that there's no way, as we're saying, there's no way for him to know immediately whether or not you modified your your handgun or your rifle right obviously unless it's a outwardly obvious thing i think what he's saying is that if you run into issues with that thing and then that's what comes up like as babyface is saying then that's a buffer for something but i think what people need to realize here is when you're going training there's other people there there's safety issues involved here as well as time and all that kind of stuff um, depending on how complex this training is. And I know not everyone has money to have a whole bunch of guns. I have guns. We, I talk about this all the time, especially with, with uh, Glocks and things like that. Most of them I don't mess with. I have guns that I do mess with and do all the modifications with, and then guns I don't do that with, and I have multiples so I can go training. If, if you're not in that position, maybe borrow something from someone if you can do that legally wherever you're from and all that. But think about the fact that you're putting other people's lives at risk, you know, plus you're, you're uh, putting, putting their time and all that kind of stuff out there. And I don't think he's going to go through every gun at a training class to go, did you modify this? What'd you, what'd you do with this? I think if you run into issues, then that's going to be, you know, that's going to become part of the equation. And I don't think that's you know? an unreasonable request of him to do that. Yeah. So, um, and, and obviously, you know, I could see there's a lots of comments here. Uh, you know, there's lots of comments here about it. Like I said, this is all, 
this is all just coming up right now. So we can, we can, we've got more time to deep dive into it. Babyface, did you figure out who you're giving that t-shirt to? Yeah, we're giving one away to Armament Axes. He made a pretty good O-Face joke, O-Light oh. joke. And then... Wait, hold on a second. Armament and Axes, didn't we, didn't we give him something yesterday? Ask Armament and ask, if, listen, yeah, listen. ask him if he won something yesterday. I want to make sure. <laughs> Here's the thing. I just want to make nah, sure. I don't think we did, Hank. No, we didn't. Okay, fine. Okay. I don't think we did. I don't remember now. Yeah, I think I mentioned him, but you said he won something the day before, so I went with. Yeah, else. ask him. If so he... this is what Hank does. He just doesn't want to give something to Armin next. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah. the that's, no, that's not it. There's lots of people here, and I want to make sure that someone gets it that didn't win at something. Okay, so, so the one for sure, Maximus 2012. Has he won anything lately? Maximus no, 2012 no, made a pretty good not joke. Say, right. Okay. He had something funny that made me laugh. I don't remember what it was, but he gets one. Okay, so our, so Maximus 112, 2012, there you go. I'm not trying to – I like Armament and Axis. I don't have any problems with it. <laughs> I want to make sure – Armament Axis, did you win up. anything in the last, like, three weeks? If not, you had a good joke, too. Oh, he, he was right. It was last night. My bad. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I so he wanna... did something last night? Did he? I don't know. Is uh... Yeah. Uh, no, Archangel says he wants Oh, Archangel. Okay, it was Archangel. All right. So you know what? Let's go. Let's let's um, see who put something on Facebook. Let's look that up. Okay. I just want to make sure we spread everything out. That's all. Okay. I'm go saying. go go spread the love. Spread out the love. Spread get, out get the love. Get your balls out of the sack, and we can spread the love. <laughs> Let me see. Where is that now? I got. I got to find that post on. Uh, here we go. Okay. So let's find the post on Facebook. See, that's why I'm always asking Lola to uh, jump in there and keep an eye on everything going on with these. Let's see the comments. Um, are there any comments on this? Let's make sure there's some comments on it. Um, okay, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I can't. I'm trying to get my phone to refresh here and see whether or not someone... Uh, made a comment on Facebook or not. If not, we'll just give it to Armament and Access. How about that? Does that make you happy? I just, you happy love how, I just love how you put like the tiniest effort and just give up completely. <laughs> because I don't have time. I do not have the time for that. We're, we're already at nine o'clock. Yeah. So we got, you know, unless you want to be here for another hour. No, I'm good. I'm good. Which is totally fine. We can Those make that two. happen. Just okay, remember Armament. that you won something lately, so. Yeah, Armament and Axis, we'll give you the other one. Let's just make it. There you go. You're done, You're done winning for a long time, though. Well, somewhat. Yeah. So <laughs> before before we go, I'm gonna, we're going to wrap up here in a second. If you want to win this bag, we're giving this bag away to someone here in this video. In this okay. video. So we're going to look through all the comments of this video, this whole entire live hangout. Okay, not the snippets, not anything else. Um, so share this video, like it. You have to be on HankStrange.tv. Your, your email has to be registered. Um, share this on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you have. Hashtag or at Brownells. Hashtag HankStrange at me. HankStrange or whatever. And uh, we will... Babyface and I, when you shoot, where's the 2245? You still got it? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Look at that. Here's the magazine for it. No, yeah. it fell off my desk. Hold on. Oh, that was is, that what, is that what you that just said? <laughs> <laughs> I elbowed it off the desk. Here you go. 2245. You go. Boom. So we're going to shoot. We're going to do a video where we shoot that. And before we do it, we'll pick someone. And that person will get, they won't get that gun. Even though Babyface actually stole it himself. He got it hey, for a steal. I pay for this thing. Yeah, but well, we, I got it for a steal. That's right. Yeah, but we'll we'll give we'll give someone this back. So there you got go. it for a song. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, there you go. All right. So let's uh, let's wrap this up a little bit here. Um, Trey, what do you have going on? I see. I see. Are you sharing the video right now? Uh, yeah, and no, I was uh, yeah. just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> um, September 22nd, we have our toy drive going on at AriesFarmsTraining.com. Please come out and support uh, needy families. We're uh, doing that next weekend. It is next Saturday, isn't it? Is it? Is it next weekend? Wow. Yeah. Wow, I'm time sorry. goes fast. Uh, my yeah. son's birthday is Monday, so uh, everybody wish him a happy birthday. He'll be five years old. Five. Oh, happy happy fifth birthday. Yeah, for you got the best birthday ever. That's Constitution Day. Oh, yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> I'm taking skydiving. Awesome. Oh, no, wow. Okay. You won't yeah. let him jump. 
Oh. Um, of course, you guys already know me, Aries, tra Aries Farms Training. Yeah, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. And then y'all are welcome to come out and shoot. I'm in Leesburg, Florida, 352-321-8102. Hope to hear from you guys. Joe, it's nice talking to you. Of course, Babyface, I'll probably see you again. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if Babyface is coming out with us on the 22nd, but uh, I'm going to be there. If you bring an unwrapped, unboxed toy, you can get in, right? Yes. Yeah. Unwrapped, new in the box, you mean, right? New, yes. yeah. New in the box toys, or if you give yeah. us okay. cash, we will take that money and buy uh, turkeys and stuff and donate them to needy families. So either one is acceptable. Well, that whole day is for uh, helping them. Neighbors yeah. Neighbors out. Help neighbors. Yeah, and we'll talk about this a little bit more sometime next week. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go to Babyface. Babyface, what do you have going on? Uh, BDU, go sign up. Hank's got a link somewhere. There you go. BDU. In the description. Yes. Uh, we're constantly. Cents. Yeah, ninety nine cents for your first month. We're constantly upgrading the site, doing a bunch of cool stuff. Um, go sign yeah. up. That's all I got. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right, Joe. All right. Well. Happy birthday to your son again. Thank Share. you very much, Joe. We, we, we got the trifecta. It's him, it's the Constitution, and me. Oh, okay. Your birthday also? Yeah, my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah um, that rocks. So, so our big thing right now, I see people. some people commenting, uh, like, I shoot my AK naked. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Kathleen. They don't they, they don't win some of these contests because they're not on social media. Um, I know you were talking about HankStrange.tv. Got to get mm -hmm. signed up for that. And then uh, our latest giveaway with Geisley, that SSP trigger, um, that's going to be through our newsletter. Uh, so you can go to like, uh, I think we posted the link up above, 13cgunreviews.com uh, or our Facebook page or our latest video here on YouTube um, and click through and sign up for the newsletter and boom that's it you've already got a youtube so you've got the other part handled and uh you'll win it we're gonna we're the last day to enter is uh veterans day observed which is i think monday the 12th of november and then we're giving it away on 11 13 and uh we're gonna pull it off the email list so you don't have to have any uh, social media in order to win so we've listed our subscribers on that too uh, but it goes back and forth i had somebody who complained one of the things is uh, if you share, you know, the the giveaway on your social media like Facebook or Instagram, uh, we're gonna throw your Twitter. We're gonna throw in extra swag for every time you share it if you won. So we'll throw in a T-shirt. We'll throw in patches, uh, fight soaps, all this stuff. You know, for the more you interacted with it, if you win, uh, as a thank you to the people who share. Uh, and I had somebody comment on my video that they're uh, that they're out and unsubscribing because it was it, it because it wasn't fair that in order to win the swag that uh, you know. So you're talking about you know, what, you know, yeah. I don't know, 30, 40, 50 bucks worth of swag, maybe tops, um, you know, if you really spammed all of the social media out, right? Um, versus versus the $250 trigger guys Lee's given away um, that you don't have to be part of any social media for. Sometimes you can't win for win for trying, but um, no. that, Listen, we, that, we, that's the big thing. And we got a bunch of new videos that are going to be dropping, but that's the big yeah, thing right now. Absolutely. And you're going to be live tomorrow at nine. Eastern. Yes, uh, nine o'clock Eastern, eight Central uh, on on our Instagram. We do Fridays with Thirteen C, um, and we'll have we have guests on from time to time as well. I don't remember who, if anyone's on tomorrow night with me, um, but uh, yes, fight soap, like kind of like fight soap from Fight Club, except for it's custom handmade soaps. They're actually, I think they're out of business. I haven't heard anything from them in a while, but we have a stash of them, and they were great. Um, yeah, they're still good soaps. <laughs> yeah, they're still good they're still, soaps. Whatever's going yeah. on with them, we have these. They're here. So if you like fight soap and you can't find any, we have some still on our swag shop on our uh, website. You can click through 13c.us and pick some up uh, that are on hand. Um, yeah. Once they're out, they're out because I don't know what's going on with them. Yeah. So Thank you, everybody, here, for the birthday wishes, by the way, too. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and here's the thing. Listen, I'm always trying to give away stuff to people in all different things. I understand not yeah. everyone's on social media. Um, you know, it does help us, right? In order for us mm -hmm. to get the, so like Brownells had to like give, you know, donate this bag mm -hmm. so that we can give it away. Some of that is, you know, we, we've got to help them on social media, right? They're on social media. That's kind of like the trade off of this. So we try to do these things. But this one is going, I mean, you could get this bag from just being here on YouTube. You just need to comment on this video, put in hashtag something. We're going to pick the winner out of this video, you know? So it may, it may help 
us a little bit if we see that person did some things, but we're not just going to go just for that. We're going to go in there and, and take a look at everything. We try to like give away things in all different ways as much as we possibly can. Not easy. I know you can't, no, no. you obviously can't make everyone happy all the time. No, it's hard. You're, and, <laughs> and, and you're absolutely right. Like, like you said, we try and share the love across the various platforms. And uh, I think most of my giveaways are going to be through the newsletter now and then some sort of bonus for people who share it. Um, yeah. And then if, if, if somebody winds up going nuts and doing a bunch of sharing, uh, I'll wind up, there'll probably be some sort of second place for the person who shares the most. And I go to, you know, like, like you, I go to a bunch of industry events and uh, you can leave a crack. Yeah. I go to a bunch of industry events and, um, you know, I wind up coming home with a bunch of patches from different companies and stuff. And I push that stuff out from time to time to people who are, you know, around in the comments and hanging out a lot. So, yeah. And also, look, I think this is, you know, this is just one thing. If we keep doing this and it's more and more successful and the companies see that, then we'll get more things that we can give away to people. And then that way we're giving back for people spending mm -hmm. their time doing things with us. So, you know, it'll all happen in time. Be patient. You know, and uh, we'll make it happen. So that's that. Thanks for everyone for watching. Thanks for all the people Joe, here for joining us. What's up? Show us your show us your shirt, Joe. Oh, people want to oh. see the shirt. Let's get that. Um, that is pretty, pretty sweet. cool. I like that. Yeah, that is bad badass. Out. Where did you yeah. get that shirt? Thank at? you. Uh, Seventeen seventy six United. Oh no, they came to the range. I never saw that shirt. Okay, that's pretty this sweet. This is that rel new relatively new. I think okay. it's been out in the past month or so. I've yeah, got that's some links. Sweet. Most most of my videos have links there and uh, discount codes as well for seventeen seventy six. So. Yeah, they come out to the range during some of our events. They're great people. Okay, cool. They are James, and, James sure. and the whole crew out there. They are freedom loving, liberty loving people. They are. I, I've I've been I've been fans of them for years. All right, awesome. Okay, so let me thank everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for participating. Uh, big shout out to Brownells, everyone that came in here. Thanks to uh, ATI Outdoors, Andrew's Custom Leather, of course. Um, out where? Well, where is it? There we go. Fort Scott Munitions. Fort Scott. Okay. Uh, Safety Harbor Firearms. Uh, everyone that that helps out here on the show, the people that support us on Patreon. Thanks to those guys. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is movie night. The movie is Heat. Make sure you go watch that movie. We'll be back. Anyone that wants to join us, come bounce in and out and talk about the movie Heat. We'll see you tomorrow. We're out of here. Peace. See you. Good night. Thank you.